And greetings, everybody, from a lovely South Florida day. Uh, our heat wave continues, and hopefully today is the last day of the unseasonably warm temperatures, but uh, not that that deterred my cat any. I ended up spending most of my uh, day out on the patio with her, because uh, cat's gonna cat. But greetings, everybody. Um, and of course, the second I start streaming, the heavens open up and it starts pouring outside. I had all my lighting and everything else perfectly calibrated for that, and now it's a, almost a little bright thanks to the uh, light refraction. Oh, and there's some thunder out there. That's that's just lovely. But greetings anyway. We're going to play some Fallout today. When last we played Fallout 4, we uh, just got back to Diamond City, where mostly, mostly last stream was a try-to-level-up Piper's Affinity stream. We should do that pretty early on in today's episode, and what I think we'll do is we'll just kind of go into the ruins. Uh, I was debating all week whether or not to, um, I shouldn't say all week, it's been what, like three, four days? But in any event, I was debating over the last couple of days of whether or not to do Automatron and get started into that, or to try to get the castle liberated and at least start working on someone, some other companion's affinity. And I think we're going to go with plan B here. Because getting the castle up and running really opens a lot of the doors for the Minutemen. I do like the idea of starting to explore the ruins a little bit. Because then we'll be a little bit more prepared for what awaits us in Automatron. Because Automatron, even though it presents itself at level 15, there are some, uh, <laughs> there are some aspects of Automatron that can be a little challenging. Although, depending on how things go tonight... We might start Automatron a little later. And so that's kind of my my evil plan for how we're going to kind of tackle today's stream with that. And without any further ado, I want to say greetings. Welcome. Let's get this started. I hope everybody's having a delightful weekend. Let's, uh, oops, it would help if I actually got things ready here. Okay. Also, let's do a couple of other optimizations I usually do before we actually get things started. Let's quit that program that tends to take up some resources. Let us also quit that program that tends to tie up some extra resources. Not that um, we really should need it, but why invite trouble, right? Okay. So that done. Fallout 4 should start running. And we will get this party started. Cool. Now those audio levels look pretty good. Marvelous. And yeah, we got a couple of them in here because I was... Over the last couple of days, I did want to tweak a couple of things. And so there are some uh, erroneous saves. But this is the correct one. We don't really need to mess around with the other saves. There's really nothing that even happened in those. But I did want to check and tweak a couple of things, but we didn't actually advance into uh, into anything. So I was mostly just double checking to make sure certain things were working as they should. That was the objective there. And my feline co-host is running around here somewhere. So yeah, we're trying to finish off her affinity here. Oh, and the rain stopped outside, so that's nice. So now we'll deal with Diamond City and get to know everybody, talk to everybody. Because Piper does like a lot of our interactions with Diamond City, which makes sense. We meet her here. Normally, we would meet her and we would be talking to everybody. But we met her at a time of day where everybody was asleep and um, there really wasn't any... Like, at that point, everybody had already gone to bed. <laughs> uh, and so... It didn't really make any sense because there wasn't anybody left to talk to. And so we were just a little time efficient where we just headed out. But now we can, oh, look at that. <laughs> life reflect, or fiction reflecting life here. Just out of curiosity. Oh, and we're still under the effects of Day Tripper, which is amazing for the purposes of... Ah, and it's one in the afternoon. Perfect. So everybody's going to be around. Excellent. So hopefully this Day Tripper lasts a while and we can have a nice couple of chats with everybody here. Let's, uh, we don't need to talk to them. We don't need a haircut. Let's talk to this guy. Be patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a 
Facial reconstructive services. Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of Let's just talk to him real quick for a second. Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Not we don't interested. need very well. Yeah, we don't need services of a doctor at this moment. We already talked to uh, the robot here. The only thing he understands is yes. We could go to Fallon's, but let's talk to Mo. Right. Real quick, did I was I smart and did I grab a Nuka Cola? Thanks. Yes, I did. Perfect. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a Nuka Cola. Hey Sheffield. Nuka Cola. Let's do this. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. They look like they could use another one. Yeah. No kidding. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You you mean it? <laughs> Never mind. Just a little joke. <laughs> That's right. And we'll send him. Now we can send him just about anywhere, actually. But let's send him to Sanctuary. Okay. That's still our most established I'll settlement. Hey, hey, quiet, all right? Thanks. <clears throat> you there? You need this a is great. Authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. <laughs> What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, my God. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. <laughs> right, little Miss Smarty Pants? If you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? I mean, we saw games. Teams would also beat the spectators to death. <laughs> uh, it was America's uh, pastime. There goes our day tripper. A sport that united families on warm summer days, and it wasn't violent, mostly. <laughs> Wait, that's what baseball was like? Really? I like my version better. <laughs> now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Got any work? Well, if you want to hmm, help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? 100 caps seems light. I need more. I like your moxie. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? Please, you own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire in your eyes. <clears throat> All right, 150 caps for each piece. You better be worth it. Deal. Let's push our luck. You're holding out on me, Mo. Come on, show me you're serious. Oh, if only All right. I, I, Julie could see that steely gaze of yours. <laughs> she might have finally met a match. You win oh, 200 caps each. But that's my final offer. You take it or leave it. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball, thanks you. All right, so that's that. 
particular quest. So we got that started. Arturo doesn't give us anything, but give me two seconds as I realize we've got our own little like nuclear uh, <laughs> backdrop here real quick. Unfortunately, the rain, once it let up, it just started refracting the sun, and now is the end of that. I'll reopen the window in a second. But clearly, that was, uh, clearly I needed to close that. Well, we'll talk hey, to these guys. you're the new girl, right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. This guy is cool. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever, and they'll keep you alive for sure. But the <laughs> real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches, install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Let's see what you have. Let's take a look what he's got. To stock up on ammo. Because we could definitely use some extra ammo. We could always use more ammo. Actually, we're going to need 45 rounds for um, the Overseer's Guardians. So, yeah, let's let's buy some 45s. We were selling those, unfortunately. I should have kept a hold of them, but that's my fault. We'll sell those missiles. Oh, my God. That's going to be that's just way too expensive. Maybe we don't need that many rounds. We don't need that many. Let's. There we go. That's perfectly fine. That will be more than enough ammunition for us for now. All right. Now let's see what we could do as far as. I mean, we could just A with this. Uh, we shouldn't need 50 caliber ammo. Let's take some of that back. We're going to keep the 308 rounds because we're eventually going to need those. Could sell some of these fusion cells. I'd rather not. But we could sell like 200 of our fusion cells and at least break even. Don't like the I've never will sell mini nukes. We need those later on. Uh, is there anything else that we. Oh, you know what? We've got pre war money. There we go. All right, pre war money. That's one of the reasons why we keep pre war money around because we could use that as currency. So, I mean, at this point, I probably could buy a lot more of that 45 ammunition, but that's okay. We'll accept that. Perfect. Let's also take a look. What kind of weapons does he have? He's got some interesting stuff. He does have a Chinese officer sword, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with not taking that. So, Big Boy is pretty awesome. That's a mini nuke launcher that launches two mini nukes for the price of one. It's awesome. We are eventually going to come back here and buy this. We cannot afford it right now. That's an interesting choice. We could buy this Beretta from him, but I think at some point we'll we'll find a Beretta off of something. It's in the leveled lists, so it, I think at some juncture we're going to find one, although it is powerful and compensated. Shit, you know, we could afford it. We already picked up a Magnum Autoloader. So Old Faithful is nice because if the target's at full health, it does double damage, which is amazing for a laser rifle, but we already have a really good laser rifle that Dance gave us. So we're going to keep that. I don't see anything else here that's particularly captivating at the moment. I think we're good here. All right, so let's exit out of our Arturo. We do want to try to modify some of our weapons, but I don't know how much we're going to actually have. There's Crazy Myrna. Let's talk to Crazy Myrna. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know you, and I will <laughs> not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? <laughs> nope, not human at all. And God, if we say that, oh Jesus, it's over. Why would you think I'm a synth? Why wouldn't it's I? a total pain in the ass to get her to work like with you again? With hair and sweat and blood and everything. So are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, and I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a, well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. 
What kind of business? We'll just talk to her real fast. Anyway. We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. We don't need anything right now. right now. Remember, we don't serve sense. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to come back when I've got Nick Valentine with us. Prescriptions, Bill. High quality Kim. Right here. Got Kim's right here for you, sister. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the Kim's you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some Mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Radaway. Sweeten the deal with some money, and I might be interested. All right. How about 125 caps? Come on. Make it worth my while, <laughs> Solomon. You are one righteous talker. 150 caps. And let's try it. I'll walk out right now if you don't make me a real offer. 200. There we go. Much pay, better. I swear. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. Okay, so Piper liked those. And we can Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hey, Gaver. Got plenty of ramen meat on the hooks. No, what Wait, kind of meat? What kind of meat is this? You never heard of ramen? Big dumb got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, princess. <laughs> Weirder than that. Mirelurk, bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the commonwealth. Cue delicious in dungeon, right? Not interested. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Here's the dugout in. Um... But let's try to break up our talking to everybody in Diamond City. We don't need to do it all at once. But we'll next when we come back, we'll go to the dugout in and we'll go to the Colonial Tap House. Because those, it doesn't matter what time we actually come back to deal with them. Well, let's get let's get Moe's Mo Cronin's. I think that's his name. Uh, let's get Moe's collectibles. We'll complete a quest there. We'll also pick up some mutated fern because I think there's some mutated fern. So if we do the quest marker, it's going to take us to this like series of ruins on the west bank of the Charles where there's a lot of mutated fern. But I remember there being mutated fern much closer. I mean, there's mutated fern all over the place, right? But of course, there's the question of does Seraph remember where all of it is? And some of it is a little tough to get to where we're at right now. If I'm remembering one spot in particular, it's not all that far. So we'll try and do those two quests, complete those. And then we'll see where, where things go. And if not, then yeah, we'll we'll go into the dugout in and we'll do the quest that involves that particular site. There's a quest that involves the Colonial Tap House, but Piper tends to not like how that one goes a lot of the time. <laughs> and I'm trying to get her affinity up, not down. Oh, right. I wanted to mess around in Diamond City for some of the weapon mods. Yeah, let's try that real quick, actually. Let's go back. Sorry, I forgot. I do want to... And of course, it's going to pour in-game. But yeah, I want to see now that we've got Gun Nut 2, what other modifications we can make to our base pistol... I want to see what else we could do with the laser pistol that Dance gave us. We want to convert it from a rifle um, stock into a pistol stock so our gunslinger perks kick in. We'll do a lot more damage with that weapon if it handles like a pistol as opposed to it handling like a rifle. The range will come back a little bit, but it's way worth it for the damage improvement. Plus, we've got Overseer's Guardian as a ranged rifle. 
<laughs> I do love the companions when they tell you things about settlements as you come into them. Well, the established settlements, anyway. Oh, right, we also have to go to Fallon's. I do want to go to Fallon's. I'd forgotten about that. All right, let's see. So we've got our 10 millimeter pistol here. I th is this the one we picked up in Vault 111? I don't think so. Um, so let's see. Oh, we can actually, we can do this, but boy, we need supplies. All right, so we need aluminum, we need adhesive. Wow, we could do the advanced receiver. Yeah, we need adhesive, we need aluminum, we need gears, we need oils, we need screws. Jesus Christ. All right, so we need a bunch of stuff. Man. Shit. You know what, considering how much we need. All right. Let's talk to, let's talk to Becky and Fallon's just to do it. I don't know if Piper likes anything in here, but what we'll do is we'll fast travel to Sanctuary and then we'll modify that because I know we've got those supplies in Sanctuary and I do want to modify uh, my weapons. Hello. Have you been here before? No, first time. Thought so. <laughs> Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door's right there. You have some kind of problem with shoplifters? Nothing me and my 10 gauge haven't been able to handle. <laughs> All right. Understand each other. Welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Fallon's basement. Interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Granddad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Guess affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. And it ain't like Diamond City Security helps. Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? Sure. My husband got taken, all right, by the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. So obviously I like talking. This is obviously completely optional, but I do like talking to them and asking these probing questions because it paints a better picture for what's really going on in the world. So it's it's worth it to find and discover the world building. Your husband was taken by the Institute. Well, he ain't here anymore. That's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. What do you know about synths? Just what I read in the papers. That the Institute builds them and some even look human. So much you can't tell the real difference. Lucky me, huh? The Institute takes my Charlie and doesn't even bother replacing him. Let's see what you've got. A paying customer. Finally. All right. So I am interested to see. All right. They don't have. She doesn't have a. Um, well, we got. Well, that's actually pretty interesting. Abil agility and perception. That might actually be worth it. What do we have on our... We have right leg. We have a cavalier right leg. That uh, that plus agility and perception might be worth it to buy. And it's not all that expensive. Uh, you know what? We probably will buy that. I was actually hoping she would have um, uh, a militia outfit. Um, it's something that the Minutemen wear. So it's unfortunate that she doesn't have that. But you know what? We will buy... We'll buy the champion right arm because plus one agility and perception is awesome. So we'll just go over to pre-war money. We'll just we'll we'll, we'll buy it in pre-war money. Perfect. Do do do. We'll even make some money in the bargain. Perfect. All right. Let's go and equip it, and then we'll go to sanctuary and do some bookkeeping. Actually, we'll drop off a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. We'll we'll drop off some stuff. Yeah, that was a big that was a big difference. Uh, <laughs> our uh, our defense went from thirty one to thirty eight, and energy went up by two. But the big one is is the fact that our normal defense went up. Uh, that's that's fairly significant. All right, so yeah, we'll go back to Diamond City. We're just gonna fast travel to Sanctuary, and then I'll wander back down the normal way uh, down south rather than running all the way back up there to then run all the way down. Okay, we don't see anything here. Everything looks fine. All right, perfect. Oh, we got a sunset, but that's okay. The sunsets are pretty, are reasonably pretty. Oh, and we also have to go to the Brotherhood and uh, talk to them too. 
so we might do that on the way back i had forgotten about them yeah let's fast we'll just fast travel to sanctuary mohaha and we got an ad starting in a couple of seconds but that's fine um uh, like i said i'm just doing some logistics here so this is gonna be totally fine let's store all the junk that we picked up and have done more i hope those <laughs> raiders pay for what they've done i hope so too june i hope so too all right so let's yeah we'll take some cloth and rubber the only thing that was there. All right. Good deal. Let's cruise over here. Let's see. Oh, we got trash can Carla. Perfect. Let's sell some water. Purify water. We'll take all that. Yes. Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Yep. Sure. Let's take a look. You break it, you buy it. All right. Purified water. Good. I think we're just going to take the money here. I don't think there's anything there that we really need. But just for the sake of it. Might actually be worth getting some scrap. But I think at this point, we'll just take the money. We'll just we'll just sell her the water. That works. Okay. We're still in the dark. That part sucks. But let's see. What do we not? Okay, I don't need that lead pipe. At this point, I'm not going to use the laser musket. Let's just put that away. I don't need the junk jet. Let's put that away. That's very heavy. Uh, I don't need the sniper rifle now. We're going to use the overseer's guardian for that. Don't need the gunner flannel. Uh, I don't think we need that super mutant bladed helmet. We'll keep it here for now. Let's take a look. A lot of that's going to go in the... Okay. Yeah, a lot of that's going to go in the workbench. Okay. Let's just tidy up with that. What's going on? Hey, Sturgis. Okay. Let's also go up here. Store the Yaogwai meat. All this crap. Pub flour. Brain fungus. At this point, we don't need a new Coca-Cola's. We uh, gave that to Sheffield. That's why I was keeping a new Coca-Cola around. We'll put that in here. We can eventually make a lot of use out of these, but in the meantime, uh, we're... I think that's okay. One thing I think we will do, though, is we're going to store those quantums over here because a Nuka Cherry is going to refill yeah. us from scratch anyway. So there's no reason to waste a Nuka Cola quantum. We'll just put all of these here. Perfect. We're now down under 100 pounds so that's excellent. Good. All right. So unfortunately, we're still in the fucking dark here because we're still in the complete post-apocalypse. One of the things that I do want to do, because if you're rebuilding civilization, one of the first things, at least I think you're going to want to do. Oop, let's scrap that lead canister. Yep. We don't want the lead and the acid for sure. Uh, Nah, we'll keep that. That's fine. So at some point, we're going to definitely want to come up with some sort of either um oh wow we can do the advanced receipt right and the better rate of fire perfect all right so we'll take the better whip take the better damage calibrated powerful receiver yep okay good so we corrected the receiver in there now we're talking okay superior recoil and improved hip fire capacity yes please and thank you At this point oh we can actually do the suppressor Hell yeah, we're going to put a suppressor on this thing. Fuck yeah. All right, so now we can actually benefit from Ninja and Mr. Sandman. So we're going to start putting those on there. Oh yeah, and that's a much better grip, better recoil. Yep. All right, so that, we definitely want that. All right. So unfortunately, this this weapon is not a, um, it's not a legendary weapon yet, but it's pretty decent. So I think we're okay with the reflex sight here. I could put something different on it, but I think the reflex sight ends up being pretty good. We picked this we picked this 10 millimeter up somewhere else. This is not the same one we picked up in Vault 111, I don't think. I'd have to go through the VOD. 
the VODs and really find out, but I think we picked up this pistol somewhere else. All right, let's take a look at you. Okay, we could upgrade. Yes, okay, so we're going to do that. Yes, that's a lot more damage. Holy fuck. And then once we get gun nut three and four, we can upgrade this even further. So let's uh, superior range, poor hip fire accuracy, superior recall or uh, recoil. Mm. Let's see, superior range. Wow, that range is crazy. Okay, well, so our range almost doubles with the long barrel. Probably should. So yes. All right. Um, magazine. It's interesting. Superior ammo capacity. Ah. So I guess the end of well, inferior reload speed. Eh, let's not do that. Oh, we, but we could do the extended quick eject for the improved reload speed. Yes. Do that. Uh, let's see. Hollow sight. Oh, the West Tech uh, hollow sight, huh? Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. It requires, a, um, requires nuclear material, but that's worth it to do. Okay. Uh, suppressor on a 44? No, I don't think so. We'll do the compensator. That doesn't, never made a lot of sense to me to have a suppressor on a 44 Magnum. All right, let's take a look at this. So right now we've got, this is what it is by default. Ah, okay. This is the stainless slide. Let's see. Mm, yeah, let's go with that. And then steel sights, copper sights. We'll go with the stainless sights. We'll have that match. Mm. Let's pass on that. Copper frame on that looks like it'd be pretty sweet, though. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. So we've customized this a little bit. Marvelous. Righteous Authority. Standard Capacitor. <sighs> Those all require science. Okay. So we'll do improved damage. Yes. Even at the cost of reduced ammo. That's a better choice. All these are going to require science. So that sucks. What we can do, comfort grip, because then that's going to kick in our gunslinger perk. So we're going to want that. So instead of it being more of a rifle, we're going to convert it down to like a pistol. Right? Yep. This is where we want. Okay, cool. Now it's like more of a pistol. Uh, let's see. Improved sights. Uh, yeah, I don't want to put a combat scope on it. We don't need a combat scope. We just need improved sights. Hello there. There we go. Oh, and greetings, Nade. How are you? We're just uh, messing around here. Everything here is going to require science. <laughs> so that's that's not going to work very well. Uh, we don't have science yet, but that's okay. We can mess with uh, all this. We're going to make it unscrappable since it's a legendary weapon. We don't want to accidentally uh, scrap this. We can't prove anything like that. We can't do any more than that. But all right. But now we've made Righteous Authority a much better... Yeah, science! Yeah! <laughs> uh, so we've got Dance's weapon that he gave us in a much better state. So now we're going to undo the automatic and we're going to... Yeah, we can't put the 308 receiver on it yet, unfortunately. But what we can do is we can make it a powerful receiver. There we go. And now we can... Stuff here. Uh, that's going to require another perk that we don't have. So mostly I'm just tinkering with uh, with my weapons here now that we've had them for a little while. Yes, the large magazine. We'll switch to that. Scope. Yep, we're going to put a combat scope on. Uh, uh, I think, no, we'll do. Let's see. Combat scope. Better. That's 2.5x. Let's see. I wonder what the difference is between the short scope, the medium scope, and that combat scope. That's actually interesting. I actually don't know what the difference is between the combat scope and the short scope. Interesting. For now, let's just miss with... Let, we'll just go with the short scope for right now. Yeah, I'm having some fun, Piper. <laughs> so we could also mess with the crosshair. If we were so inclined. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the bayonet. It's just going to add weight. We don't need to add weight. I'm never going to use it as a bayonet. Like, forget that noise. 
Okay, but now this is useful as a sniper weapon. Okay, I think that's everything. And unfortunately, we don't have a better melee weapon at the moment. So we're just kind of stuck with this. Overall, though, I think that was a successful... Yeah, I mean, of course, now we've got a billion mods from things we made. That's okay. Okay, so unfortunately, now that we've modified some things, we're back above 100 uh, pounds. That's not going to last all that long. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's see, what's the time? It's pre-sunset. It's pre-sunrise, rather. Let's head out. Let's go back. So, uh, we're still not to the point yet where I think we're really ready to start rebuilding Sanctuary the way I would like with resources that we will need. I mean, at this point, the game would let us build a bunch of stuff, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to play through it like fairly rationally. Right now, we really only have the facilities and, uh, you know, gas reserves to run, um, you know, a water purifier. And we've got one building that has electrical, and that's our headquarters, our improvised headquarters at Sanctuary. So we're heading back out, and we're going to do a couple things here. So, all right, so this looks good. All right, perfect. All right, we got our... S let's reload. Perfect. How does that look, actually? Oh, that looks pretty... That looks pretty badass. All right. So we've got a pretty good magnum now. Got this. Good. All right. That will work. And then we've got Righteous Authority. Sweet. Okay. So at this point, we're now a walking arsenal. <laughs> How's your weekend going, Nade? Good to see you. We're going to keep our eyes open for some mutated fern. And I'm pretty sure I remember where there's some mutated fern. Um... You know what? Fuck it. Let's go in these rooms and let's pick the lock we can. So that Piper likes it. We definitely need that. We still need to go on some good sca scavenging runs here. Wander denim dress. We don't need that, but we will take ceramic and copper. Ceramic and copper are fucking awesome. We'll also take caps. It's literal money just sitting there. <laughs> we like money. Sore throat. Oh, not strap at least. Thank goodness. Strep throat sucks so much. Oh my god, strep throat is the fucking worst. So let's go to the workhouse. I think this is the one that has a safe that I can't quite pick yet. Yeah, I can't pick the lock that's in here. So let's exit. We'll go in the other one. And we'll try and pick the lock that's in there. Now, thank goodness that's not strep. Oh. I had strep so much as a kid. And uh, there was one point where they were like, if he gets strep throat one more time, we're just going to yank his tonsils. And I just never had strep throat again. <laughs> Funny how that uh, works out. Where, where, where? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I must have turned around at like just the wrong moment. What's up, buddy? What'd you find? go upstairs no where did this dog go oh, you're over there good boy we'll take that Is there nuka cola in here nope good <laughs> thou shall be distracted by bullshit <laughs> the rule the, the one law of the wasteland I'll take a dinner fork you steal Damn it. Come on. We don't have to do this. Alert. Alert. This is normal for other journals. All right. Take care of that. Bastard. <laughs> Stupid ass raiders. Ah, the speakeasy. Yep, this has the the safe that um we didn't pick yet. So this is an unmarked location. There are a lot of unmarked locations in um, in this game, for whatever reason. We've already scavenged a little bit here. Well, let's see what we may have missed. Uh, we'll take the beer bottle. Yep, we missed the beer bottles first time around. I think there... Oh, yeah, there is something down there. Is there a safe down here? Let's take a look. Nope. Nope. We already scavenged all that. Good. Safe must be upstairs. 
Oh, nope, here it is. Now we can pick this. Let's move that a little over that way. All right, move it a little over this way. There we go. We got it now. Have you seen the entire uh, show then uh, by this point? Not that we're going to discuss it. So obviously we don't want to... Uh... It's still new enough where I don't want to discuss the show on stream. Um, but yeah, yeah, it is good. It is good. Um, for anybody who hasn't seen it, I recommend it if you've got Amazon Prime. If you don't have Amazon Prime at some point, they should offer it on sale on DVD, although you never really know. That's one of my worries with an Amazon kind of show. Would they ever make a DVD of it hoping that someone would subscribe to Amazon Prime? I heard it was renewed for a second season. I got to imagine they're going to get a second season. I haven't, I've heard that rumor. I don't know if it's been confirmed yet, but yeah, I mean, especially where... Again, without getting into spoiler territory where they left off, it should be very, very interesting what they would do with a second season. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. Now, there's usually a couple of people over here, although there's nobody there yet. Let's take a look here. Nope, nothing. There's just a campsite. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I use the rifle for, honestly, the most, is just pulling out the scope and... Uh, being able to scout out terrain before I get to it. And so now we got to get back down south. Of course, what we really need is Piper to get gift, give me Gift of Gab at this point. So I think the best way to go about this is actually let's just go down. We'll go to the Cambridge Police Station because we could just do a quest that's right. Actually, you know what? Let's. Um... All right. So Forest Grove Marsh is where. Uh, Solomon would send us to get uh, Mutated Fern. We're going to try and go somewhere else. I seem to remember Mutated Fern being around here. And of course, there's the other Westing Estate that's down this way. So, okay. I need to just, I need to just go pure south here. Let's pick up the pace, not get caught on a branch. And in a perfect world, I'd find a militia outfit because at some point it would be nice to get out of the vault suit and start kind of getting into the wasteland. Just a good question, Nate. Have you seen the um, the, the headquarters we built yet? May as well show you that on our way down south here. A lot of this was actually Ghosty's uh, suggestion, kind of expanding on the... Um, on the um, the projector building here for the drive-in because um, we just kind of just built all this extra to it. There we go. We got some settlers cruising in, packing in here. All right. So we've got a functioning... Got ourselves a nice functioning headquarters now. So we'll head over this way. And we have them all looking out for um, clues as to our son, Sean. So if anybody hears of any kidnappings, anything of that nature, they're going to just funnel all those intelligence reports in on there. And it's better than us just roaming around ourselves aimlessly. Okay, there's Lexington. We're not going to actually go into Lexington. Just like before, we're going to skirt the edge of Lexington. And we're just going to head south. We're just going to follow the road back down south here and then we're going to stop in on the Brotherhood area and we'll do a couple of quests in there. Yeah, yeah. Dog meat, you're the best boy. Oh, did I not check Piper for anything you guys may have held on? Shit, I probably didn't. That's okay. We'll deal with that later. That was kind of dumb on my part. When we were in Sanctuary, I should have checked them to see what they see what they had. Now since we're here anyway, let's just check up here. Red X beer bottle. Yeah, we'll take that. Yes, it is junk, but it's useful junk, Piper. It's useful junk. All right, I don't see anybody up here, but at this point, now we'll we'll go here, kill the rad roaches that are here, and we'll grab that Nuka Cola Quantum that's up there. 
Wait, where? There it is. Where are the rest of them? Oh, is that it? Okay, that works for me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that line never gets old, man. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, dog me got it. Oh. Oh. We picked up a legendary item from a legendary rad roach. Holy shit. All right. Unfortunately, it's an item that sucks completely. Yeah, we'll take the burgundy bottle. Take that. Hmm. That was what I was kind of going for there. But still neat to get a legendary item. She eats the pipe. <laughs> hey, Ghosty, how are you, my friend? Welcome. We're just kind of getting started here. Making our way back to Diamond City. There's Corvega. So at the very, very, very top there, there is a bobblehead. It's actually right about there. It is right about there on that ledge. But to get to it, we'd have to fight our way through all of the uh, raiders. Hey, Kara, greetings. Finally, my bot actually played the uh, raid sound for you. That was nice of it. How was Sea of Thieves today? Were the seas kind to you? Speaking of raiders. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, Darkstar. That was like perfect timing. <laughs> Hi, Maxi. How are you? Oh, greetings. Greetings, Rob. Greetings, Dark. Dark greetings, Darkstar. Let's, let's do some shout outs here real quick. Let's pause that and let's switch really fast. Never mind, Ghosty's on it. <laughs> Ghosty's on it like a boss. <laughs> Thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing pretty well. We just upgraded all of our weapons. So we do a ton of more damage. We've got better scopes. Uh, we haven't gotten any better outfits yet. But we're, we're getting there, slowly but surely. And uh, let's see, what else have we done so far? Uh, mostly we just kind of checked up on our handiwork. Oh, right, I'm going the wrong way. Well, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, do I? Fuck it. Fuck it, let's do this. Okay, hey, let's try that again with actual bullets in the chamber. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful headshot there. We just picked up a mini nuke from that. Sweet. Okay. Okay. It was only two of them. <sighs> okay. 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 We're okay. We're okay here. We just got ourselves a nice mini nuke. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We'll take razor grain off the scavenger. Okay. That worked out very nicely. Oh, we'll definitely take the stem pack and the wonder glue. Jesus. Adhesive. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Here are the more of them. <laughs> Nothing you have to worry about anymore, Piper. I just pulled a boon there. <laughs> Usually it's a uh, freak bot playing. Uh, actually, we'll take that mutant front, uh, mutant meat. Oh my god, it blew his head all, of, blew his head completely apart. Uh, usually it's oh, there's a person over there. Why is there a person over there? Wait, why is there a person over there? Are those people attacking my settlement? What is going on up here? That sounds like people attacking my settlement. Shit, that is people attacking my settlement. All right, there's a weird dude sitting down there. We'll deal with that in a second, but... Yeah, what the fuck? God damn it. What was I just saying about uh, thou shall be distracted by bullshit? <laughs> Thankfully, the robots do a pretty good job at defending themselves. Did they already kill it? Oh, they already did. Oh, the rest of the super mutants. Sure. <laughs> well, they made it inside. But uh, that's about it. Okay, well then. We missed the party. 
Good. And the mutants didn't do any damage. What's that for? Cool. Well, that works. Nothing looks damaged here. Oh, yeah. they fuck Those fuckers did do some damage. God damn it. Repair the mute fruit here. Stupid super mutants damaging my settlement. Okay, so clearly... And we can't scrap this car, unfortunately. That's fine. Okay, well, since we had to come here anyway. Stupid ass super mutants. Since we had to come up here anyway. Let's see if we can, um. <laughs> Let's see if we can build some defenses. Because clearly, uh, they need it. Sucks. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the broken femur. So bone is useful for something later on that we're going to be making a lot of. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, that's interesting. Minutemen campfire. Uh, that must be from you and what army? Okay. Good to know. Machine guns. Cool. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's build you turret here. Turret here. Turret here. Perfect. And a turret there. Okay. Uh, let's build more turrets over here. Let's see. Let's build... Let's build turrets over on this side. Just to protect it from over here. Because we need to have 33 defense in order for this not to be attacked wantonly all over the place. There we go. We'll just go with this. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now we don't have to worry about fucking crazy attacks all the time. That must have been what the problem was there. All right. Drop off the rest of the junk. Now let's go talk to this dude down here and see what he may have wanted. I wonder what that dude wants. Probably water. And I think I just sold all of my water. That's not great. Perfect. There's some purified water here. We'll take it. We'll sell the purified water later. What, uh, what we don't have... But now let's go see what this guy wants. We could see him over here. Oh, it's a fucking raider. Never mind. Never mind. It's just a fucking raider. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, there's that. Cool. Did we miss anything here? Nope. We got all this stuff. Perfect. Uh, that's too heavy to be worth it. We'll take a bobby pin, though. And we'll take a wine bottle, sure. Okay. Let's see. Brotherhood of Steel or Diamond City? Let's, uh... Hmm. All right, Diamond City. Let's try the Diamond City stuff. Because the Brotherhood, once we start getting into there, we start exploring a lot of that area. You wanted a bullet. You were just helping out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's also upgrade. Let's see. We've already got that pretty good. We've got gun nut up as high as it can go. Ah, we can pick master locks. I think we need to do that. Yeah, let's do that. And now we can pick any lock in the game that we come across. And then next up, we'll do... Um, We'll do Mr. Sandman. We'll start leveling that up. Now, in the normal game, what you don't want to do is take Mr. Sandman before Ninja because the vanilla game is bugged. You want to take Ninja first and then Mr. Sandman because if you don't, it won't calculate it correctly. You'll end up getting kind of screwed over by it doing improper math. Which is super awesome. There's nothing more fun than, um, you know, spending valuable perk points on perks that don't work correctly. But we've got a bunch of mods that fix a lot of those various issues. So we can we can take those in any order and we don't need to worry about it. Math equals math. Math! <laughs> so we're just going to follow these tracks. We're going to try and get some mutated fern, fern without going over there. Normally you'd have to go over there, but that place is just crawling with ghouls. And it's very easy to die at this level. And when I mean, when I say very easy to die at this level, holy shit, it's super easy to die at this level. Um, all right, so vault, the vault is down there. Okay, so we need to go this way. 
I'm pretty sure it's closer to the vault. So this is just one of the roads that kind of goes through. So this road leads to almost directly to Diamond City, but this is the road that we're actually going to want. This is the highway. And I think, if I'm remembering it correctly anyway, assuming Seraph is indeed remembering it right. Although usually my uh, man, the God Rays do look nice when they're when they're processing correctly. And this EMB doesn't uh, go too overboard with the uh, with the God Rays, but it still processes them, processes them, which is nice. That's Brahmin. And we'll take Brahmin meat. Sure. Moving on over here. This place can be pretty dangerous. But we don't have to worry about that Yao Guai anymore, because we shot the Yao Guai <laughs> with extreme prejudice. <laughs> but if we can get the wild, uh, if we can get some uh, mutated fern that is not where Solomon uh, sends us, all the better. All right, so here's here's the vault. Here's Vault 81. We went in there, and we had some. Uh, we were able to rescue a cat. Okay, so I think. No. Down this way. I think the mutated fern. Yeah, the mutated fern's more this way. I think. I think it's closer to the road. Plus, we could avoid the bugs this way. I mean, if not, we'll just go to uh, Forest Grove Marsh, and we'll get the mutated fern, and we'll fight all the ghouls, right? What else can you do? Okay, but I think, I think the mutated fern is over this way somewhere. Pretty sure. Uh, I think. Let's take a look. I want to say it's up here somewhere. There it is. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. We just picked up some mutated fern without having to fight a bunch of ghouls for it. We're at some point going to want to go over to Forest Grove Marsh and clear it out. But we can now do that when we're when we're really truly ready. We're gonna cruise over here. I don't see. Oh, yeah. Those fucking raiders. <laughs> oh man, those poor bastards. They didn't even know where the shots were coming from. <laughs> Let's go loot the bodies. Nothing else here. Plus we could always go into the um the transit area and clear out the ghouls in there. We will get a bounty for that. We picked that up off the bulletin board. Oh, that's that's a pretty cool uh yeah, we'll take the skull bandana. We could put that on uh dog meat. I'll show you how we do that. Actually, we're going to do that right now. That skull banana is going to look badass. Yeah. Okay, everything looks fine here. That was perfect. Okay, and then... Ah, oh, that fucker fell off the bridge, didn't he? Yeah, he fell off the bridge. Because there were two of them. Oh, nope. He's over here. Sweet. Uh, G? E? Not sure. <laughs> body no longer in a state to properly identify. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, hey, buddy. Dog meat. Hey. So when you trade, we're going to give him the skull bandana. Now, we could also wear the skull bandana. It would act like a kind of like a face mask. But, uh, there we go. He's a good boy. Yeah, dog meat. You're a good boy. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, sometimes you just fall right through those. Which, in this case, wasn't so bad. But if you're up very high, that could be terrible. <laughs> to say the least. We got a train car here. It's too bad that we really don't have any f facilities or equipment that could really clear off the, f the train tracks. It would be nice to really be able to restore the rail lines and be able to make use of that infrastructure. All right, so there's... There are the ruins of Diamond City. What we're looking for is over this way. Right? Yep, that's what we want. That's where Mo has sent us. So we're going to cruise over this way. 
Yep, that's what we're looking for. Perfect. Let's approach it. This can be a little dangerous. <laughs> or you could live on the rail lines. <laughs> yeah, it could live on the rail lines. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. Nope, nothing in there. I was just thinking, like, for a moment, like, setting up the Minutemen as a, um, as a faction, it would be nice if we could use the rail lines to move freight and be able to really use, move a lot of resources back and forth. Can you imagine if we could clear those rails and move, like, a squad or a platoon of Minutemen along the rails for rapid response if, uh, super mutants attack somewhere? That would be awesome. Any dog I ever had got a bandana after grooming. And became defensive and territorial when we were trying to take it from them. Or a squad of power armor. <laughs> yeah, or a squad of power armor. That's right. Alright, so now we've gotten to Westing Estate. And we're looking for some baseball memorabilia for Mo. But we'll take the gas canister. There's actually some really nice... There we go. Sign catcher's mitt. I'm sure we'll take that. That's probably too heavy. Oh, there it is. Uh, Piper? That's not a good idea. Piper? Really? That is not a good idea. Ah, oh, it was in my sight for just a second. Oh, Piper, get out of the fucking way. Headshot. Firm. But now where's the other one? There it is. Oh, shit. Good. Fight Piper. <sighs> okay. Good. Piper... It was mostly distracted by Piper there, thankfully. We'll take the antifreeze. We'll take buff out. <sighs> Definitely like adhesive. What else we got over here? Clear, clear, clear. Okay. So we got the catcher's mitt. <laughs> now we cruise over here nice and slow. There will be more. There will definitely be more Meyer Lurks. Oh boy. Hmm, barnacles. Okay, let's take a look here. Oh. Well, we'll take the table knife. Yep, we like chems. Um, let's jump over here. There we go. We got a nice little safe. Nothing else so far. Good. Let's pick this lock. A little more. There we go. Got it. Nice. There we are. And that was the main objective. We wanted Piper to idle as us. We just maxed her out. We got the baseball. Perfect. So once we talk to Piper again, we'll have a nice little companion dialogue. We're not going to do it just yet. There you are. Fuck. Well, can't hit us from up here. Although you do next to no damage by shooting it in the shell. So I'm trying not to shoot it in the shell. Oh, we got it in the head that time. There we go. Nice pair of headshots there. We'll definitely take the unstoppables. So this is nice. We permanently gain a 1% chance of evading all damage from an attack. And these stack. So if you get all of them, we'll have a pretty good shot, like 5% chance, uh, once we get them all, to just avoid all damage from an attack, which normally isn't that big a deal. But for example, if you've got, um, and these are just normal baseball gloves and leather, but we'll take that. Baseball bat's a weapon. We won't be able to scrap it. Let's see. Yep, let's head out this way. Let's just get the hell out of here. Come on, Piper. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that was mission accomplished. Hub flower, perfect. That was perfect, 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 perfect. That was exactly what I wanted. I knew we were close to maxing her out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually head... Where's Piper? Yo, Piper. Earth to Piper. Where is Piper? She was just behind us. Don't want to have that conversation in here. Come on, Piper. Earth to Piper. Thank you. Hey, just let me know. There we go. You got a minute? We're close enough to the perimeter. Nothing should bother us here. Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's just... 
Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole. And patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. And of course, the usual, oh, there's a charisma check. Let's do it. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just blue. I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I, I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Perfect. And now we'll get double XP every time we do a persuasion. And uh, actually, what is it exactly? Let's go over to stats. Let's go to perks. Gift of Gab. We now get double XP for speech challenges and discovering new locations. It is so helpful. <laughs> uh, is it an amazing perk for a charisma build? Which is why we spent all that effort to do it. Uh, yeah, and her dialogue reminds me a lot of Garrus from Mass Effect. <laughs> Just because she, like he, is such an awkward, goofy bastard. <laughs> uh, it is so much fun romancing them each time. Uh, even if it wasn't, um, even if there wasn't an XP reward associated with it, I think I would definitely be doing that. Okay, so now the next companion we're going to want. And I think at this point what we'll do is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go east. We're gonna get to Bunker Hill and we're going to get a magazine that's there. And then we're gonna cruise down and go to Good Neighbor and we're gonna find our other companion because he has a perk once you max him out called Kill Shot, which is awesome. Uh, essentially it gives you an extra XP boost for uh, head headshots. Um, but we might we might do a little automaton. We might double back and do automatron. Automatron's gonna trigger when we go here. So we're gonna try to not necessarily go there. We're gonna try and kind of sneak through this area, not trigger automatron. We're just gonna try and go to uh go to Bunker Hill up here. Hell, we might even just skirt the ruins over. You know what? That's actually a better plan. We're gonna skirt the ruins over here. We're just gonna have to deal with one super mutant with a missile launcher over there. Go get that, and then we're gonna go to Good Neighbor. That's that's the plan. But let's let's cash in these two quests that we've got since we've since we're already here. 
And I was supposed to jump, and uh, it did not register the jump. Boom. I don't see anything there. But yeah, let's let's hot foot it back over. Because now, as we go through Boston, we're going to be uncovering a lot of locations. And we're going to get a crap ton of XP in very short order. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Gift of Gab. Which is incredibly helpful, obviously. <laughs> it's like in any RPG that's XP-based. The more you level up, the more survivable you are. And we're going to start crawling out of these very, very squishy levels pretty soon. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. We'll talk to Mo, and then we'll talk to uh, Solomon. Get some... How long till Dimension Blade? <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is... Uh, I don't think... I don't think our character Violet here will ever be that broken. <laughs> so what uh, Phoenix Nade is referring to is our tabletop game where my uh, where my exalted character has a combo called Dimension Blade. But it's not even her best move. Which is the funny part. It's just every time I hit something with Dimension Blade, it tends to have a slight problem as in it runs out of hit points. <laughs> Uh, hi, dog meat. Do you mind? He's like a real dog, always kind of getting trapped underfoot. It's awesome. Heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. Looks nice. Oh, well, thank you, Diamond City Security. I appreciate it. pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. I go over here. Cash this in. Find that burn. Should be easy to spot. Yep. Found the plant. Here you go. All right. Here's your payment, plus some samples from the pharmacy. Don't take them all at once now. Moderation. Back to the matter at hand, though. Chem. Don't need anything today. Cool. We're good. Cool. Okay, one thing we will do, though, we're going to cruise Radiation over here. poisoning is a common ailment, but we drugs. can cure just about anything. Because we've got a ton of buff out in Jet, but we also have a ton of Psycho in Jet, so let's make Psycho Jet because it's also going to give us XP to make it. Perfect. And now buff jet. <laughs> Perfect. We like XP. Now we go to Solomon, and we sell a lot of this extra shit we hey, just Solomon. made. Thanks again for the burn. Plants like that are hard to come by. Now, uh, you here to pick up some chems? Hey, it's the burn collector. Thanks again. Let's see what you I'll got. Take a look. Sure. Every chem for every need. Cruise over here. Uh, nope, I want. That's what we're looking for. Let's sell. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Yeah, well. Fine. We'll just sell six Psychojet and we'll take all his money. <laughs> fine. But we could do that with all of the um, merchants, and we could at least make some money. Long arm. Long arm. Ammunition. Hey, it's you. They find any of those baseball items I mentioned? Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. Oh, this baseball is the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. <laughs> See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Hey, can I get a minute? Something I need to do. Uh, excuse me. Question for you. This is pretty cool. She'll just talk to the residents of Diamond City like this. Yeah, Piper, I am. But I ain't buying your lousy newspaper. <laughs> oh, Spot us uh, right here. Whoa. Let's go. Thanks. Bash is in the Commonwealth. I guess. <laughs> That's it for that. Well, let's see. All right, so now we've got... All right, now we got 5,000 caps. We're starting to make hey, some serious, serious money. I mean, I kind of want to watch that version of baseball now on HBO, right? 
That would be pretty funny. Uh, what quest is active? Ah, yeah. We don't need we don't need the quest marker on active for that. We will at some point go back to the police station to do the Brotherhood quests. We'll probably do them with McCready because we need to love. We'll need to level him up now. But now we can do some more um, things that are more a little more relevant. We can actually advance certain other agendas. We don't, and now, I'm especially, I'm not avoiding locations now that we're actually going to get the proper XP, proper XP, the bonus XP for going to a lot of these places. But next stop is Bunker Hill. We're going to go to Bunker Hill first. We're just kind of going to make a beeline for it. It's one of the benefits of playing the game over and over again. You kind of, and especially having played it a bunch, I know the Commonwealth like the back of my hand. So I have got a pretty good idea of a, of a fairly optimum way of getting through it. And that one super mutant with the missile launcher, we should be able to just take him out with a headshot. Shouldn't be a problem. Emphasis on shouldn't. The first time playing this game on PlayStation, however, let me tell you that super mutant wrecked my shit. But I was also trying to get to Diamond City by like at around level five or seven. I was woefully under level for this. And at this point we are now, take a look. We're level 18. Yeah, we can actually handle Man, look at that sky. That's beautiful. Uh, now we're actually at an appropriate level to be in this general area. Actually, we're now kind of at an appropriate level. We can actually take those super mutants out over there. I think we should. Uh, we can also... You know what? I'm not going to go into this, but let's get the XP for it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'd much rather get 50 XP for each of those than 25. Oh. Sounds like we got a fight on our hands up here. Let's uh, let's save and let's advance. I've had enough of avoiding these super mutants here. Although I don't see any super mutants. Wow, we missed a hell of a party here. Okay, we've got mines. There it is. Was that the only super mutant? I think that was the only super mutant. Good deal. I don't like this because I know there are mines here. If bats can't see them. Well, this is pretty cool. Diamond City security. <laughs> so we could pick up the uh we could pick up the helmet, the left arm armor. Maybe we want to do that. Let's see. What is Oh right, right, right. Yeah, the leather right arm is the uh, chameleon, but we don't we don't want that. We got left arm. Wait, where's my left arm? Oh, the left arm is this. So let's see. Oh well, that is better. Weight two pounds, and it's lighter. Well, that's a win. So let's take that. Perfect. Where's Got a mutant hound over there. Uh. And greetings, Freakbot. How are you? Welcome. Take a look here. I know there's a mine. Well, I know there used to be a mine. It's possible that uh, something blew it up already. Yep, something must have detonated it. I don't see the. Uh, I don't see the frag mine. Normally, this whole building should be mined. There it is. Got it. Okay. So at this point, they should all be dead now. Let's take a look. Left arm armor. Raiders. Jeez. Yeah, we missed one hell of a party over here. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So this is why there weren't that many super mutants over here. These guys just got their asses kicked. My goodness. Let's uh, let's equip. Oops. Peril. What we want. And yeah, we're not going to bother with that right arm. That right arm sucks. We'll take the left arm, however. We'll take the armor. We'll take the ammo. Move up here. Yeah, raiders. <laughs> Good. All these assholes just killed each other. Nice. Come on. Oh, we got to jump over that. Hey, rifle. Nothing here. Let's go cruise over here. Speaking of which, once I max lockpick, I'm going for sneak. Yep, I've I've now maxed lockpick on this playthrough. Which is nice. So if we encounter a lock of any kind, we can now pick it. 
We don't have to worry about that anymore. I thought there was... Am I crazy here? No, there's nothing else. Okay. Get the hell out of here. Oof. All right. Moving on. Moving out. <laughs> Let's take more ammo. We'll take the boat flag land. Now, I know there are more super mutants, so we've got to be aware of where. Just kind of keep an eye out. Missed out. When it's out, we don't want that. I think I went through. It's up there. You can see it display, disp uh, displacing dirt. Yeah, I went the wrong way, but that's okay. That's Hangman's Alley. We're not going to mess with it at the moment. We're just going to continue on this way. That's a nice little hive of raiders. Good. Nobody approaching us. Approaching from that direction. Okay, now we're just going to skirt the Charles on the south uh, shore here. And we're going to make our way over to Bunker Hill. There we are. Excellent. Most excellent. That was the rest of Castlevania. Get uh, get a good dinner. And how was, uh, did that rain hit you by any chance? Because it rained like hell up here. I am guessing it rained like absolute hell of, uh, down by you after a minute. <laughs> Second I hit the streaming button, this shit. <sighs> you dropped your wallet a walk block back. <laughs> I dropped my wallet a block back? Wait, did I actually drop something? I mean, you can't drop your wallet in this game, so I assume you're just messing with me, Phoenix. But greetings, how are you? Yeah, the rain was crazy. Ah, and it rained by, by Rob. No no surprise there. Okay, we got... Okay, nothing here. Let's go check a look at this shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, we resume, and then we just have to worry about the super mutant that's up ahead. There it is. There's our super mutant. As soon as we can... He's out of range. I think. Get a little closer. There we go. Now he's in range. Explosives. Got him. Lou, we're not alone here. For some reason, the game. Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for some reason, the game makes the same button to um to hold your breath and have a steadier shot as the same as throw explosive. So if you don't toggle it off. You'll throw a grenade right in your own face and uh, blow yourself up. It's super awesome. Rain like a son of a... Yeah. Probably the same as a reindeer. It was crazy, man. Crazy. Oh, man. All right. So we avoided the raiders over there. But yeah, no, that was a... I, I concur. That was a perfect headshot. Blew his head. Yep. There's no head anymore. We just blew its head fucking clean off. Pretty much exploded its fucking head. All right. Good. Good, good. I could take the missile launcher, but I'd rather just take the missiles. The uh, only heavy weapon I usually grab is the Fat Man launcher. Because there's nothing more fun than lobbing a mini nuke at something. <laughs> Alright, so we move through here. For the most part, this is usually a fairly safe path through the Boston Ruins. If we go deeper into the ruins, we're going to be dealing with all sorts of crazy shit. So here's other crazy people. Charles View Amphitheater. Eh, fuck it. Let's talk to this guy. Hi. Welcome, neighbor. 
We're always <laughs> glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so <laughs> you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right <laughs> this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm not looking for a sales pitch. A sales pitch is the last thing I would ever do. This guy's a scammer. I'm not selling anything. <laughs> I'm giving away the secrets of long life, happiness, and prosperity. Giving them away. What do you say? Yeah, all you have to do is give him Ready every single one of your worldly possessions. Life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. Not a chance. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I really can't take no for an answer, though. Once you find out all the benefits of being one of the pillars, I think you'll see where I'm coming from. So yeah, he'll walk around this way. Excited to welcome a new member Hello, into our fold. But we're not going to follow him. Because yeah, at that point, we will be stuck. Um, either giving him all our stuff or... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll repeat that in a second once the ad's over. But yeah, we're pretty much... You either have to give them all your uh, worldly possessions or you have to fight all those crazy bastards. I'd really rather not fight all those crazy bastards. That's Those are raiders. We're going to just walk by here. Yep, there's a raider. But doo -doo 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 -doo, don't mind us. We're just going to walk by. I'm just going to stealthily sneak past all that stuff. But yeah, if I had gone... If I had followed him... Uh, pretty much he gives you a choice. Give us all our worldly possessions or they try to rob you. Oh, shit. One of them sees us. I think they're up there. Sort of hear us. Up oh, the attack dog might be smelling us. Good. Just keep going. Good. Good. Keep coming. Keep coming. Good. Okay. Good. Get away from that. Fuck. God damn it. Fine. Ah. Uh. Shit. Yeah, headshots. Uh, you lose all your stuff. <laughs> and your companion makes fun of you. I have done that just to see what it would do. And they're like, really? Really? <laughs> and I, it's a totally justified reaction. Like, who would just give up all their stuff to some, you know, cult leader? All right. Okay. That was uh, bad luck to run into some dogs there. Okay, but we're almost to Bunker Hill. And we don't need to do a lot at Bunker Hill. We just need to do... Oh, yeah, we take a fuse. Fuses are awesome. They're lightweight. They've got copper and glass in them. They're... No, I mean, literally drop your thing so you have nothing to get... Oh, uh, I have not tried that. But then we'd have a pile of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's one way to get around it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think he just welcomes you into the fold and then you could just pick up your stuff again, I guess. But you're better off just not even following him. At least I think, I think so. <laughs> uh, plus there's something else we're going to need to do there. So I usually try not to have to really deal with them but they show their true colors there caravan or raider <laughs> i'm here on my own piper Freelance, huh all right come on in but no gunfire market's open you can do as much trading as you like and we'll eventually talk to everybody here yeah. bunker hill is a little uh reclusive but that's okay we'll do Hi, this real quick i'm meg you mean you did the hill for 10 caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like you. Any chance I can get it for free? Fine. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. You there. Oh. <clears throat> You'll find I'm very persistent. 
You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Uh, have a good one, Ned. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, Deep Fry, usually my summers end up being pretty packed. Um, just because with uh, semester changeovers and everything else. Um, the summer tends to be light for our, for our professors and all that, but for, for me personally, summers end up usually being very, very, very busy. Um, <laughs> plus I've still got a project I have to work on. I, uh, and also academically, I still have to write my concept paper and yeah, no, needless to say, no, my, my summers do not slow down. <laughs> I wish they did, but, but they do not. I don't mind danger. So long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. All right. And so special delivery just started. Hip boy? I haven't seen one of those in forever. <laughs> I can't believe I gave you the tour for free. Yeah, what a tour, Meg. Um, so yeah, that's Edward Deegan. He's a random encounter. He can show up in a bunch of places. This is actually the first time uh, I've seen him in Bunker Hill, I think. Uh, usually I see him in the dugout, uh, the dugout in in uh, Diamond City, but just kind of the way this this played out, uh, we didn't. And of course now I'm going up the monument because the magazine I want is up here. And you'll see why we made this detour for it in a second. So yeah, live and love. We now will pay, permanently gain plus 25 XP from persuading men. That's that's like half half the persuasion attempts now. We're going to get an extra 25% XP for it. So yes, that was definitely worth it. Uh, why are we... That's interesting how it almost doesn't have a steel icon for a second. But anyway... So that was the purpose of going to the very top of Bunker Hill for that. That was what we needed. Come on, Piper, get out of the way. Oh, Piper. Thank you. We'll just jump over her. <laughs> you can actually escape the uh, monument uh, by this part and accidentally fall out. I've done that. Uh, I think one time I died and one time I lived. So we're not going to take too many chances with that. But yeah. Mark, it's the white building with all the fancy columns. Always someone doing trading there. Cool. Thank you, Kessler. Bunker Hill. We're now done with Bunker Hill. We'll come back to Bunker Hill and we'll say hi to everybody in there a little later. What we want now is good neighbor. We're going to get our next companion and then we're going to go explore the ruins. Because there is definitely some cool things to do in these ruins. And now we're at a point level wise where we can survive that. And there's the USS Constitution over there. It's kind of sitting on a bank. <laughs> How it got there? Well, we'll find out later. <laughs> we will we will definitely find out. There's Cabot House. We'll get the XP for it. Because I'd like to gain another level in a second. Let's see, where's uh okay, there's Mass Fusion. Oh fuck. Okay, let's uh I don't want to fight through that. I mean, just because we're at an appropriate level does not mean I want to invite or court disaster. Let's go around this way. Now yeah, we're just going to go around this way. Who is that? Oh, it's a Minuteman. Cool. <laughs> Good timing for a patrol. Hello, ma'am. There we go. Gained another level. Nuka Cola place is my favorite. Oh, um, Nuka World? Yeah, the Nuka World DLC is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, so now we're going to level up. Okay. So let's take a quick look. None of our major perks can be leveled up. So at this point, now we're going to start doing Mr. Sandman because our silenced weapons will start doing more damage. Take, take glass, chemistry jar. We've managed to successfully get around this. Oh, fuck. Where are the other ghouls? Okay. 
Okay, we fought and defended ourselves against these ghouls before they attracted all the attention of the raiders over there. Up we go. There's probably going to be some dogs over here. Yep. Yeah, let's just do this. Well, one headshot isn't too bad. There we go. Now we're at a spot where we'll get 95s. Good deal. Okay, we don't want to shoot that turret at all. Ah. Fine. Close the bats. Okay. Okay, we managed to do... We managed to fight our way through all that shit without attracting a whole lot of attention. Lucky us. Because there's dangerous shit all over the place. That building's got super mutants in it. There are uh, gunners over at... Um... There are gunners at um, the Mass Fusion uh, building. At the very base of that, there are gunners. Anyway. So let's head into Good Neighbor. And we'll have an interesting introduction here. <laughs> I love this scene. It never gets old. As soon as it loads, good neighbor, of course. Today, game. Today. <laughs> Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? And of course, Piper disliked that, but now it doesn't matter. Guest, and you lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You're soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. No, oh, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? I mean, the main problem is, uh, it's not every day I get mugged and witness a murder right in front of me. You obviously haven't been living it up enough. <laughs> you check it for that. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah, that was uh, Finn's problem. Basically threatened Hancock. A new player in Good Neighbor. Bad move. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our funny games. <laughs> Damn, Fahrenheit. That is a great look for Fahrenheit. All right, so let's go get McCready first before doing anything else. There are actually two magazines here. Not that the magazines were all that important. It wasn't like at this point, we've gotten the absolutely critical magazines. We got the one at Fiddler's Green. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. And for anybody who's not familiar with what a third rail is, is uh, for subways, you've got your two rails that actually are kind of like the main tracks where the car will run on. But the third rail is the one that actually is electrified and powers the thing. So if you touch the third rail, you're you're going to die. <laughs> that's how it's how it kind of works. Kind of works. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Why can't I just pick the brain fungus here, but whatever. Perfect. So now we're going to permanently gain plus five damage resistance and energy resistance. Not critical, but it's here. And since we need McCready, anyway, we may as well just grab the thing. So we're going to do this first, and we'll start getting McCready. And then we're going to go into the ruins, and we're just going to investigate some stuff. Uh, and there's Magnolia. I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. <laughs> take this out. Yeah, he got Hancock's insurance for sure. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. 
That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, lady, if you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. You need a hired gun. Then maybe we can talk. From what I just heard, sounds like you're out of business. <laughs> uh... Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Never heard of the Gunners. Who are they? They're one of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? I stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but I could never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. And what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. A bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. We'll send uh, Piper to Sanctuary. The reason why I generally send my companions to Sanctuary, and I think I've said this before, but it, it warrants repeating. Uh, Sanctuary tends to be a slightly bugged settlement anyway. You can't really, it's really difficult to get 100% settlement happiness there anyway. So I usually just send all my companions to Sanctuary because I kind of write that uh, settlement off as far as getting a high settlement happiness, what have you. Uh, but I end up going to Sanctuary a bunch throughout the game Anyway, it's where my pre-war house is, so I do send my setup my my companions there. But um, there are a lot of players online that will send their companions to the Red Rocket gas station that's just outside Sanctuary instead because it's a little easier to find them. Um, but I'm gonna just send mine to Sanctuary just to make my life easier. And we just lost 200 bottle caps, but there we go. All right, and so now he likes slightly different things than she does. But we're going to be okay here. Let's see. Why am I... Oh, there we go. I want to hear this song. <laughs> hey, Rufus. <laughs> Vault suit, huh? That's Hell right, yeah. good neighbor. I'm the one you're looking for. <laughs> and of course, that's Linda Carter. Back after a short break. <laughs> Beautiful as always, Mags. Oh, yep. Thanks, Charlie. Can I get some water? No need to even ask. I always set aside a stash of the good stuff just for you. You are such a sweetheart, Charlie. Thank you. Oi, we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia, the flower of the third rail. So we'll just the talk to Whitechapel Charlie here for a minute. That is her business. Now, you gonna order? The third rail? Is this, this is funny. Place? And Cox. Oh, Charlie just keeps the floor clean and the drinks dirty. <laughs> so, you're buying a what? So, Hancock's the owner? That's right. Owner and mayor of this whole bloody town. Trust me, never get on his bad side. Oh, Linda, stay clear of his bodyguard. So, what's your poison? Hancock has a bodyguard? Yeah. Redhead with a <laughs> condescending stare. Trust me, Gov, something about her ain't right. But I'd never admit saying that. I'm trying to sell drinks here. You mean? This is the funny one. What's the word around town? Well, they say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't understand that I'm a bartender, not a damn new spot. Now, are you gonna drink? <laughs> 
Let's see what you have. Don't have more than you can handle. Now, just by opening up the menu, it doesn't. You don't actually have to buy something from him, and we're not. We're just gonna exit out. Now that you're liquored up, I've got a proposition for you. I need a dirty girl to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a cleanup job. Three locations, everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch, it's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. Don't worry. I'll know when it is. I don't do work, unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big secret who <laughs> I represent. <laughs> Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. So one of the interesting things is about that particular piece of dialogue. Um, so a very, very minor spoiler for things to come uh, in the future. Hancock is a potential companion that you can get in this game. We'll be, we'll be getting com uh, Hancock as a companion later. But if you don't talk to Whitechapel Charlie, if you instead get Hancock as a companion, you come down here and get Charlie to talk to give up who's offering for the, the job. Hancock's like, what am I paying you for? It basically gives a smart ass comment of like, really, really, Charlie, you're just selling me out here. <laughs> it's hilarious. Three locations. That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. Two fifty. Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Gov. Three hundred. All right, let's go for it. More money, Charlie. Giving me a right kick in the Alberts. We'll make it 400, but that's as high as I'm going. <laughs> I'll get it done. You better. Now go out there and bust some heads. All right. Okay. Load you're carrying. So let's cruise out here. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's, you know what? No, let's do this. Don't have no handouts. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? So what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. This is funny. I love the song. It's more funny. It was perfect. She's one of the reasons why this is such a great place to lie low. Oh, huh. well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> <laughs> Flatterer. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> oh, really? Go on. The perks of a charisma build. You, me, <laughs> an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. Ah, uh, so you're back. Jokes <laughs> my pleasant company. And after some, uh, <laughs> and now we're going to be, I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. And I'll see you around good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> But 
this point, McCready will be waiting for us. Hey, buddy. Nice of you to wait for me. This part is also pretty fun. Hey. What? No. It can't. It, 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 it's you. From Sanctuary Hills, right? And I'm like, who the fuck are you, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. Why? You don't remember me? <laughs> I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then uh, I wasn't on the list to get in. But you... Good thing you weren't. You would have been dead. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? And for me, I think for us right at this point, it's all been, it's been all of like, what, two weeks since we've seen him? You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me why. What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? Vault Tech never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future <laughs> the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. You're alive. <laughs> I haven't used my fault. Don't even think about coming after me. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way. You were pretty ugly before. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only <laughs> other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement wants a ghoul with 200 years of Vault Tech sales experience. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay, I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. So one of the complications, potential complications with all this... Oh, there's Murawski. Hanging out. Um... One of the potential complications with all this is um, the vault -Tec rep can die on his way to Sanctuary. I think that actually happened to us last playthrough. Excuse me. Oh, man, someone new. You need some jet, man? Homebrewed? Reasonable prices? <laughs> you have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the <laughs> gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's got to be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. Your offer's a little low, Fred. All right, let's make it 250. Not good enough. You said there's already a crew of mercs there. I did say that, didn't I? How about 300? Good neighbors full of chem addicts. You have plenty of money to fund this job. Okay, okay. You got me. 400 caps, that's all I can put out. All right, Fred. We have a deal. You're the best. The absolute best. All right. McCready liking a bunch of stuff we're doing. That's nice. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? <laughs> the Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. So, still want a room? Who owns this place? Mr. Morowski. Oh, you should have seen him in his day. 
This place used to be flowing with high-end kins, beautiful clients, and oh, the parties. But now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. Jesus. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. <laughs> so why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? You sound pretty worked up already. Tell me more about this Murawski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. The other big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. That's the way good neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top until someone stronger kicks them down. Now, are you buying this room or not? I don't think so. Mark another in the Lucha column. <laughs> All right, so where is... Uh, I just clean up around here. Where's Rufus? Rufus is not here. He must be over at the third rail. Oh, we'll grab this magazine. So now we permanently gain plus five XP when adventuring with a companion. So that's nice. That will. Uh, there we go. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. <laughs> hey, Rufus. Hey there. You're new around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? Seems like my kind of place. Bit of a rough town, but beats cowering behind the walls of Diamond City, that's for damn sure. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. What with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact, which is where you come in. I assume this is a paying job. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? This isn't exactly the safest neighborhood. What about hazard pay? Fair point. 300 caps plus beer. Are you going to take the job? Push our luck again. Have you seen how many super mutants are out there? You drive a hard bargain. All right. 400 caps plus beer, but that's all I can do. Are you going to take the job? I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. All right, so we just picked up another quest and got us our, some nice XP with speech checks. And then again, thanks to the magazine and Piper's Gift of Gab, we're getting substantially more XP with each of those. One of the reasons why, again, I wanted to get those magazines early. So now we got a scene up here. <laughs> the other day. Ah, he wishes. <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was Pretty. I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks got to stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly Commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? Got yeah, ourselves a little, little nice little scene here. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some dread. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> 
personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny, when people are doing things they don't normally do, when family starts pushing you away for no reason, we all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? <laughs> the neighbor! The neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Of the people! Of the people! For the people! Quiet. Hancock's making a speech. So we're going to do a quest here. That's right. Assuming we can actually do it. We're going to try. But yeah, that's a neat little uh, scene that happens every so often. Uh, after you re-enter the uh, good neighbor area. All right. So. I think you've stepped into the wrong place. <laughs> you don't look like you need the memory den. Do you even know what we do here? So we're in here early. This ends up being plot relevant later. But if you come here early, we should be able to talk our way into using one of the memory loungers early. Something about memories? Oh, well, I'm glad to meet someone who pays attention to the name. That's right. We let you relive the past. Now, I hate to turn such a clever girl away, but we aren't accepting new clients right now. You're cautious. I respect that. But I think I can handle it. If you'll just give me a chance. Well, I suppose there's no harm in giving you a trial run. Now, Memories involving other people are easiest. Recent events involving loved ones. Uh, does anything come to mind? My husband died recently. If I could just see him one last time. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. It's never easy losing someone that close to you. But I think we can help. All right, sit down in the lounger. Let's see what memory we can find. So this is a very easy to miss quest. Uh, Dr. Amari, we have a new quest. Can you find a memory we can plug into? What kind of memory are we looking for? Our client is, was married. See if you can find a memory of his spouse. All right. Scanning the hippocampus. I found something very recent. The sink with the temporal lobes is strong. That, 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 that's the one. Lift the curtain, honey. It's showtime. <laughs> There's just one problem with this plan, which seemed like a good idea at the time. There you are. Your memory. Just relax. We'll be monitoring your vitals on this end. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. The vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. What's useful about this is now that we know how this goes down, we could really pay attention for details. And of course, we didn't see any of that, so we don't know what's down there. And remember it every time I hit the the uh, the glass, so it's actually playing that. This is the one here, which I think is a cool detail. Open. Who are you? How could you be a part of this? <laughs> no, please no. Is it over? almost? Everything's going are to be fine. Okay? <laughs> Come here. Come here, All right. Well armed, heavy caliber pistol. Let the boy go. Bald. I'm gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you son. God damn it. God. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. 
reaching the end of the memory. Hold on. Try to calm down. Your blood pressure is spiking. I'll have you out of there in <laughs> three, two, one. So unpleasant as that was, just from a solving the mystery perspective, helpful to get a second look at that creep. This extension got Easy there, thrown off a little bit. Easy. I'm so, so sorry. If I had any idea that we were going to put you through <laughs> that again, I would have said no. <laughs> you owe me? Yeah, no. Uh. Those people kidnapped my baby. I have to find them. Oh, I wouldn't even know where to start, honey. No, what what you need is a detective. <laughs> I have a friend, Nick Valentine. He works out of Diamond City. Trust me, honey. He's the best. He can find anyone. That's funny. Yeah, not wearing a, uh, a kimono. <laughs> that is funny. But yeah, let's talk to Dr. Amari real Your quick. memories of Vault 111? I'm so sorry we put you through that again. Dr. Amari? Don't bother asking me how the memory loungers work. I don't have time to teach the years of neurophysiology it would take you to understand. All right, fair enough. But yeah, real quick, that was just a nice little uh, optional quest to kind of take through. I think a lot of people might miss that because typically the way the plot works is we go here much later. And in the interest of doing a complete playthrough, we're going to try and do quests that also can sometimes be hard to track down. Oh, we don't need to do that one. Let's, uh, quests. So, so we don't need to clear out the good neighbor warehouses just yet. I mean, we could do that, but we're going to do, we're going to clear out the good neighbor warehouses later. Oh, let's, uh, yeah, we already picked up that. Let's talk to Cleo here. Well, hello. <laughs> Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. This is one of my favorite NPCs in the whole fucking game. Who? What are you? <laughs> I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Also helps that it's named the same thing as my cat. Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates you're a robot right a very womanly robot designation assaultron designed to provide a variety of security related tasks to the modern man runtime conclusion why work for the man when you can work for yourself new designation k-l-e-o cleo fully independent small business owner robot enough for you smooth talker now, what are you buying? This is fucking great. Oh, no, that's not, the one after this is fucking great. You're an assault tron? That's what my maker has called me. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? So what this kind awesome. of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. <laughs> now, are we doing business? Uh, yeah, let's okay, take a look and see what she's got. Let's get you outfitted, killer. All right, she's got some pretty cool shit, but also, um, she's useful. Uh, no one, she's also got party starter because it does more. She's got a missile launcher that's legendary that does more damage against humans because, you know, just because. <laughs> um, she also has a devastator's chest piece which reflects melee damage uh time dilation when they're at less health which is kind of nice but she also sells ballistic fiber which is going to be super awesome later other than that i think we're good here i don't think there's anything else we need at the moment up oh, we probably have no oh, it's probably a dust storm hey daisy hey daisy oh new face walks into my store and you're not even screaming yet <laughs> You let me know if anything catches your fancy. 
Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Oh, there's probably a rad storm going on outside. I've seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I've got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. You got a good point. We'll make you uh, 250 caps. Hey, it's not just the cost of ammunition. Danger means doctor's fees. Yeah, yeah, all right. How about 300 caps when it's done? Deal? I don't know if I've got a good enough ball. Let's try. Sorry, not enough. Guess that library is going to be super mutant central from now on. Wait, don't. There we go. Don't got go. it. Uh, <laughs> we'll make it 400 caps. Cool. Got a deal. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. All right. Now we got a couple of quests. Now we're going to go into the ruins and just explore and clear out some place. What the fuck? It's Red Skull. <laughs> All right. <laughs> how you doing, Maxi? Actually, you've been here since the beginning now that I think about it. <laughs> but I haven't heard from you in a while, so, you know, how you doing, Maxie? <laughs> I'm literally watching Captain America and Red Skull right now. <laughs> I love that emoji set. It's good shit. So now we're going to go, uh, yeah, we're going to go explore a couple of places in here. We're going to sort of make our way back. We are going to go to the library because we want to get rid of some of those overdue books, but also let's explore. Let's just kind of explore the ruins here. And I think we did get, oh yeah, we did get a level there. We're going to continue, continue leveling up our perks. And actually, since we have max charisma, we could do the special delivery quest also. We could do that. Actually, we could do that. Lurkin, lurkin, lurkin. <laughs> oh, and sometimes it takes a second. All right, there we go. Fine. All right. Oh, boy. Did you catch that? <laughs> yeah, something flew overhead, but we missed it. But we can always take care of that later. Okay, so yes, let's do more sneak attack damage. We like doing sneak attack damage. Sounded like quite a crash. Maybe we should head over there and check it out. Next time we're by where it actually crashed, we will indeed do that. Kill that super mutant. Okay. This point, fairly survivable. I hear something. Avoid all that, rest of that nonsense. <laughs> ah, it was nothing. Oh, that was a legendary one. Fuck. Well, maybe we should take out the legendary. All right, since it's legendary, let's go take it out. We just got to find it. Since it's... A noise? Fuck. Uh, wounded. Ow. Yeah. Fuck. Bastard. Let's uh go over here. Oh, good. Those are turned on. Where did it go? Did it fall? Yep, it fell. There you are. <laughs> I 
Let's see what it got. Oh, a synth left arm. Uh, eh, that's not great. That was kind of shitty, but oh well. Raiders, vicious mongrels. But since we already got into this fucking fight to begin with, let's do it. So McCready doesn't like when we pick locks, unfortunately, so we can't level them up all that quickly. But he does like it when we ask for more money, which is why we did that a bunch in Good Neighbor. I mean, besides getting XP and all. Ah. Okay. And as you can see, we don't have to worry about them nearly as much as we used to. Okay. Super mutants are dead. Fuck. Okay. This is the Vault Tech headquarters, I think. Yep, Vault Tech Regional Headquarters. We're just getting close enough to detect it, and then we move on. We're not going to explore all of these just yet. We'll come back for them all, though. We will indeed come back for these later. But it was definitely worth getting a legendary piece, because ultimately we can break those down, and hopefully we can actually find something that's good. Oh, fuck. All this shit. Whoops. Fine. I was going to put a mine there, but for that. Okay, where's the rest of them? Oh, is that all of them? No, that's all of them. <laughs> okay. Well, we took care of that. Here's where Franklin's buried. That's not what it actually looks like, but from what I remember, but it is here. It is pretty neat to uh, visit that. Uh, 10 millimeter pistol. Yeah, that's all that's there. We don't need the gunner flannel or any of that shit. Let's pack this up. Let's go. Let's see what else might be in here. Take the bonder. Take the bones. Well, no, no, we're not going to take the bone saw. We'll take the squirrel bits. Okay, we'll take the tablespoon. No, we're not taking the kickball. It's not worth the weight. Okay. Here's the common. Keep out. Ooh boy. Wait, this is the common. We need to get the hell out of here. Unless you like being killed. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're also going to, since we're here, let's get ourselves some nice XP. Hmm. At journey's end, follow freedom's lantern. What we need to do. Take the blood leaf. Okay. So now we're going to set up a trap. Yep, bottle cap mine. For sure. Let's go over here. Set this up here. Drag mine. Yep. Explosives. Drag grenade. Okay. Oh, fuck. Save. And let's do this. Hide behind that. Come on. Set off that bottle cap mine, you asshole. Fuck! <laughs> he was supposed to set off he was supposed to set off the two mines <sighs> well we got him okay can't believe he didn't set off either of the bottle cap mines I mean unless he did and we just didn't see it yeah let's take that well, we set up something. Well, not going to need that stuff anymore. Sure. What the hell else did we set up? Well, probably a raider or something up there. Okay. Well. Fucking raiders. You go? Eyes. Oh, a grenade. Take care of that asshole. Oh, but wait, there's more. 
Oh, wait, there's more. Where are the rest of them? Let's, let's back up. Let's back off before we deal with all that. Let's go try and get my mines back. Well, I don't see my fragmentation mine. I don't see my bottle cap mine either. So maybe it did work. So here's Swan's Pond. We were out this way. Where are my bottle caps? Oh yeah, the frag mine did go off. Cool. So where's my... Oh, it's right here. Yeah, he missed it. Damn. So that sucked. <laughs> that sucked a lot. <laughs> yeah, if he had hit the bottle cap mine, that would have been a lot easier. But oh well. Okay. So uh, that being the case, let's explore the rest of Swan's Pond here. Let's take Blood Leaf. So we had a bunch of boat fragments. Let's go over here, grab some interesting stuff. Take the experiment log. My physiological evolution seems to have stabilized. So his name we used to be Edgar Squan before he turned into a gigantic behemoth. Medical team sees my muscle mass has more than tripled since the experiment began. My neural uh, efficiency has improved markedly. This particular strain of modified FEV, by the way, FEV is what makes super mutants, has been a remarkable success. I appear to have received all of the anticipated benefits without the typical adverse effects. My application to join the research team is awaiting the director's approval, although further tests may be in order. I hope to be able to assist my own experiment in the coming days. Take that. Yeah, let's take that. Buff out, we'll take buff out. That's all super radioactive. Let's take a look at the experiment log too. Should have known something was wrong when they came back for more tests. Every bone in my body aches. I'm on edge all the time, jittery, can barely write, but my mind's just racing. Damn it, what's going on? What'd they do to me? Take that. So I nipped a few sigs, big deal. Smart asses may run this place, but they can't just do whatever they want. I got rights. Trial worked out for me in the end. They agreed to do probation. I stay inside for a month, write something every day, and they'll bring me all the food and water I want. They think this is a punishment? Should be scrubbing floors all day. <laughs> There's all that. Take Bloodleaf. Bloodleaf is useful for a uh, particular chem we'll make later. All right, so now I need to go over here. This is super radioactive, but there's a magazine. And since we've already irradiated ourselves this much, there it is. That's what we want. So Grognak, we do more than five damage. We'll take the Raider's Note. You want to know how to do it? Head around the north side and rush the bandstand. Be quick and you might be able to get some defenses up there before he notices you. Yeah, no, he won't. Uh, if you can hole up there, you might just have enough to cover to outlast him. Whatever you do, don't go in the pond. Yeah, they're right in that guard. We'll take more blood leaf. Hello, kitty cat. I love you, cat. Making yourself comfy. Okay, so yeah. But we had already taken that damage anyway. So it worked out. Rad away. Yeah, we're probably going to take both rad away to get rid of all those rads. Okay, so we got a couple of things that go on up here. We've got... This poor bastard, Mikhail, torn letter. We'll read that in a second. Uh, we got raiders in the combat zone. We'll go mess around with that. In a, we'll, we'll go mess around with that later. Uh, raiders. Never mind. Let's just take out this raider now before we get too carried away here. Headshot. Okay. No, that's dealt with. <laughs> oh, there was another one over there. So we got the Boylston Club. We'll go check this place out really fast. Since we're here in the common anyway, let's just continue to explore the ruins. This place is creepy and it doesn't take long to explore. Uh, want to come in? No? Okay, fine. Eh, you almost made it, McCready. Almost. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Well, bunch of corpses. And some cool pool balls. So if we wanted to put a pool table, this would be the time to do it. Magnifying glasses are awesome. We got some poisoned wine. I'm going to take one of that just to do. Let's see. So what's going on up here? Lots of poisoned wine. Oh, well, definitely taking that gold watch. So the gold watch we can actually sell. It's actually pretty valuable when we sell it. So it's pretty clear that, uh, just from looking at this place, that everybody decided to, uh, kind of, uh, poison themselves. 
poor bastards. They survived the end of the world only to uh, not make it out of here. Let's see. Bands, river, rules. There we go. Got it. Membership policy. Send to current and former presidents, vice presidents, senators, and justices of the United States. Bunch of politicians, legitimate male males, and members. Are the distinguished gentlemen of social or intellectual worth? As nominated by the membership and willing to remit an annual fee of $500,000. So, uh, oh, there's a safe control also. Let's play the tape. It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. <clears throat> Gentlemen, it has been an honor and a privilege. Before we drink, allow me to offer a final toast <laughs> to the world that was. Mankind shall never see its like again. We're going to keep that. Hello, kitty kitty. Oh, I know. I love you too. Oops, sorry. So let's find the safe. Now that we know there is a safe up here, I'd rather... Yeah, we'll take the razor blade. I'd rather pick the lock of the safe if I can. There we go. Perfect. Yep, we're picking this. But if we couldn't pick the safe, we could have, um, we could have yes. dealt with that. Dealt with the terminal instead. Anything else in here? No, nope, nothing else. All right, so that's the Boylston Club. Exit this. And then there's one other cool place in here that's very easy to miss. Cat, cat. My cat is sitting. My cat is literally just sitting on my uh, foot. Ah, uh, see you, Phoenix. Glad to have you uh, drop by as always. We got to hang out soon. We're long overdue for that. <laughs> Jeez, just imagine what these loading times would be if I were still running us on a, uh, on a slow drive. That'd be, it'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'll reach out this week. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. <clears throat> but anyway, have a good one. Today game today. But uh, the next up is we're going to go to the Cheers bar. And, um... From what I understand, a lot of people tend to miss the Cheers bar, and it's just up the up the road here. Um, but it's very easy to miss because it's unmarked. Because the Boylston Club obviously is, is marked. We even see it moving on there. But uh, just up the way here, nobody over here. Nobody over here. Okay, good. Yeah, pretty much there are warnings all around the common <laughs> to try to keep you away from it for very, very, very good reason. You're good. Okay. So anyway, down here we go. Into the Prost Bar. Like I said, super easy to miss. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here that's particularly uh, valuable for us, but it's it's interesting. It's a fun thing to discover uh, when you're running around the ruins of Boston. But the glass, when we're eventually getting to the point where we need to uh, have glass to build something... We'll be back here, and we're going to grab all of this glass, but we will take free more money. Yeah, we're going to take free war money. But I don't think there's anything else of particular interest in here. Yeah. Go in that. Yes, we will pick the steamer trunk. Mm. Assuming I can actually pick this lock. There we go. It's around here somewhere. Oof. Alright, so... Why is my mouse moving? Oh, come on, mouse. Don't do that to me. There we go. <laughs> Got it. All right. So what did we find in here? Wow, it was a pretty interesting uh, sniper rifle. We've got... Uh, you know what? I might take that because of the, uh, the very end of it might end up being a mod that I can take off and put on Dance's gun that he gave us. Um, Righteous Authority. So we might, 
We might be able to make use of that. Sure, we'll take the light bulb. We will take the light bulb, however. There. I don't think there's anything else. Oops. Here. No, we'll take the soap. Soap is oil, and it doesn't weigh a whole lot. I don't think there's anything else so valuable in here. Yeah, this, this place is just cool as shit. <laughs> we got a postman hat. I'm sure these are characters on Cheers. I just didn't watch the show enough to know who is who here. But it's neat. Uh, the pint glass is... Uh, actually, we'll take the pint glass. I don't think there's anything else here worth taking. Okay. At the moment. And of course, the jukebox. The working jukebox. Okay, cool. And now we're out. But still, neat. Neat to explore. So I figured, damn, while we're here, let's go check it out. Plus, I imagine, even though it's not a fun game experience if they had done it more realistically, but realistically, a lot of the places you would be scavenging and looking through, I think they would either have been scavenged already or there's just nothing really valuable, really valuable in there. Um, but of course, that is a glass gold mine. Once we're building structures that need a lot of glass... We'll be back because then we can uh, hand that off to our glass blowers, and we can uh, we can make some pretty impressive stuff with those things later on. <clears throat> but if I had grabbed all of that, that'd be like twenty pounds worth of glass or something ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's a lot. Granted, it's good to have, but not um, not particularly efficient when um, we're looking to spend a decent amount of time here in these ruins. Okay, so what's next here? Let us head up this way. Oof. Mm, can't. I think that might be the hallucinogen building. Yeah, that's the hallucinogen building. We don't need to mess around with that right now. Let's head this way. Let's head to Main Street. Because that should be Hubris Comics. And Hubris Comics is an awesome place to explore. And just kind of go through. Yep, we're back at the common. That can't be opened. Yep, Huber's Comics. Let's do this. All right, we got a scavenger's lead. Let's take a look at that really fast. Uh, miscellaneous notes. Scavenger's lead. Let's see, where is this going? Check out Huber's Comics. Oh, okay. Yep, fine. Well, we can see how this person uh, didn't make it anywhere. Torn letter. Let's read the torn letter now. No much I miss you. It's too dangerous. If you stay in Diamond City, at least I know you're safe. If your mind's really made up, then be careful. Travel at night, stick to the river, and whatever you do, don't go in the common. Well, so somebody didn't make it. Somebody didn't listen to their... Somebody didn't listen and didn't make it. But that's fine. We're gonna go... We're gonna go check out Huber's Comics. Although I think at this point, I see my cat is wandering around, which means she probably wants some food. So what I think we're going to do here is I'm going to go downstairs and give her some food. And Oh, the unstoppables. We got another plus one damage chance. Oh, I didn't want to take the damn key. Fuck. It's now a... Uh... All right, let's finish. Let's just explore this place and then I'll I'll take a quick break. But we'll do it after we clear this place. Oh, I know you're there. I know you're there. Where are you, buddy? Safety off. Well, it's here. Headshot. Oof. Good, we got that guy. I love how the ghouls could just fall from the fucking sky. <laughs> we got a bunch of them around here. Take the free war money. Where is it? Super close. Up, oh, it's over there. <laughs> All right. Well, they're just coming after us. I guess that makes our lives easier. Sure, we'll take the telephone. Fuck. 
fucker. Couldn't quite shoot through that gap. Would have been nice. I would have rather picked that lock, but whatever. It's a shame we couldn't get the XP for picking those. Not a big deal. I wish I hadn't grabbed the key. I can't do anything about it now. Up we go. Good. We got these assholes here. Fine. Oh, I didn't kill that thing. I really didn't kill that thing. How did I not kill that thing? Oh, it ran around. Fuck. Oh, it ran upstairs. Shit, what a bastard. Fine. We'll have to keep... We have careful of it. Got the telephone. I would definitely have to have your head on a swivel in this particular place. Because they can get... They can ambush you so easily. Like that. <laughs> Thankfully, they went after McCready and not me. Which works for me. Hey, my goodness. Oof. Fucking ghouls, man. Fucking ghouls. All right, we missed the... Uh, well, we'll take the silver shroud photo. Sure. We may as well get these quest items now while we're here. Up we go. Where this shit gets even more dangerous. Okay, now we got that guy. Hmm. Here we'll take the pen. I'm not gonna take the paintbrush. Duct tapes. Okay. Or dog tags. Duct tape and dog tags. We like those. Man, I love stealth builds. <laughs> Nothing better than just having to jump on them for a change. Don't fall down. Okay. Let's cruise over here. Not gonna grab the spatula, it's too heavy. This door we can pick. Yay, XP! Hmm. Of course, assuming I can't do that. There we go, got it. I must have broken nice. a crap ton of, uh, bastard. Kill that little shithead. We'll play that while we kind of go through here. Oh, it reads, death becomes you, draft eight. <laughs> and it just kind of gives ceiling fans, spins over a small card table. Three men, two women, all gangsters. Sit quietly, contemplating their cards. You're bluffing. <laughs> Glad you think so. Actually, you all fold, the Silver Shroud says. Everyone at the table looks around in a panic. <laughs> oh, man. This is, like, so campy. It's great. <laughs> Feeny Five, death has come for you, and I am a shroud. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't read the entire thing, but... Uh, yeah, pretty neat. Let's see. Oh, damn, this ghost is going right up my nose. This time, I will grab the... Sure. Grab stim packs. We need stim packs. Mentats. Okay. Clear out this room. And now we go into the particularly problematic spot of this whole shit. This fucking room. Oh my goodness, this room. Okay. Bottle cap mine. Deployed. Uh actually let's let's put this down here. Put that down here. M military duct tape. Yeah, military duct tape is awesome in this game. The hell okay. are they? Uh, McCready, don't don't go up there. McCready, god damn it. Okay, two ghouls are gonna come out of that room. Fine. This shouldn't take long. Okay. 
Hey. Thank you. Kill that one. God damn it, Recreaty. That was the whole point. That yeah, well, whatever. The whole point was to get the glowing one to show up here and get nuked by the fucking bottle cap mine, but McCready had to fuck that up. <laughs> Bastard. That's all right. Let's drink some purified, um, drink some purified water. We'll recover our health. You took a couple on the chin there, McCready, didn't you? That's all right. Hey, I don't think there's any. Yeah, we'll take the battered clipboard, the shot glass. We don't need that. These guys are dealt with. Let's see. The extinguisher. Yeah, we'll take the cuffs, the Braxo cleaner. This is where they used to film the old Silver Shroud shows. Oh, I wish I could have seen them. <laughs> there we go. We'll take the gun prop. We'll also take the Silver Shroud costume. We're going to need that later. We may as well have it now. We're also going to take the Grognak yes. costume. The Grognak costume is fucking awesome. Okay. Now we clear the location. We're good to go. Actually, let's take a look. Do we have a legendary left leg? We do not have a legendary left leg. Mm, yeah, let's take the combat armor left leg. That works. Take that. We'll take astoundingly awesome tails. Good deal. Let's uh, pick the suitcase. There we go. Got it. That's it. Yes, grape mentats are awesome. I love grape mentats. Okay, now we get the hell out of here. We kill the remaining ghouls that are still in the building but we should have officially cleared it. We're just gonna run through. I don't think there are any other ghouls we have to kill, but we need something that's down on the first floor now that we've, for the most part, oops. Yes, there we go, let's pick this. I don't think there is a ghoul in here, but we're gonna look. Oh, come on, Seraph. Ah. Oh. Bad Seraph. <clears throat> Almost. There we are. Sweet. Let's try it again. This time without the oops. Yeah, we'll take a Braxo cleaner. There's the office key. We don't need that anymore. Take care of that guy. Grab that hot plate. I think there's one more. Gotta be very, very, very careful. There it is. This place is trashed. Yep, ghouls trashed it, brud. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Well, I'm carrying it. You're not carrying it. Okay, at this point, now the place should be clear. And now we goes over, we cruise over here. So let's pick this, and we'll pick up a cool legendary item. Got it. Grognax axe. Bingo. Bingo. Awesome shit. Okay. We picked up all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, we can't hack that. That's right. We don't have the hacker perks. Okay. But just like that, we've now cleared out this location. Back bay is now clear. Or, uh, Cuber's Comics is now cleared. That was pretty neat. Ha 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 ha. Now is a good time for me to get a new can of soda. All right, Maxie, have a good one. Thank you for dropping by. Have a great week. I will see you all approximately later. Well, I will see you approximately later. I will see you all in about one minute when I when I <laughs> uh, get back from the kitchen downstairs. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yay, exploring the ruins. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. <laughs> Oh man, so far I think that's my favorite sound alert. Oh my goodness. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Maxi, be good. Oh, as soon as this loads the screen, I'll be able to pause. I just have to take a bio break, something awful.
So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll hit the pause button and then uh, I'll just run an ad in the meantime. That way it delays when it actually runs an ad next time. But I shall return very shortly. Oh my goodness gracious game. Load the thing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. I will be right back. Ugh. Can of Coke time. That worked out nicely. Perfect. Ugh. Okay. Oh, is it still running it? Wow. I'm surprised it's still running it. Cool. There we are. Get my headphones back in. Ugh. Okay. Marvelous. Okay. Let's go back in. Uh, let's in him. In game. Do do do. Perfect. Okay. Marvelous. Let's do this. Let's take a look at our map here. Uh, yeah, let's do the public library next. That'll be nice. If we can do the public library. Let's not have that active. It's really annoying. I don't think any of these others are active. Good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, fuck Christ. Wait. Uh, no. Yes, keep that. Fucking asshole. Where is it? It must be upstairs. There we go. Dog meat managed to get up here. There we go. Kill Cam. Boom. Drop off that copy of this stand, right? <laughs> oh, man. That's basically what we're doing here. Like, in all seriousness, we are returning a book that Daisy borrowed some obscenely long period of time ago. Uh, all right, you know what? While we're at this, let's let's go check this place out. Trinity Plaza. Let's clear this location too. We got a couple of uh, we got a couple of super mutants in here. Mer, we're gonna take them out. But also, there's something creepy in the basement. We'll go explore that as well. And then. Uh, that was an interesting way to hop in there, McCready. 
Uh, yeah, we'll take these glasses. Oh, now I'm already overweight. Okay, fine. Hey, McCready, remember when you were complaining about don't make me carry all that oh, shit? Guess what? Split up the loot? Yep. You got it, buddy. It's time for you to carry all this shit. It's time for you to carry your own weight here. Let's see. Work our way down. We got a bunch. That's a lot of shit, man. Yeah, I mean, at that point, we're probably not even really dealing with a lot of weight, but whatever. Let's just do it. Okay. So we got Super Mutant Enforcer with a fucking minigun. And we got this mutant stirring something. Lovely. We managed to kill him before he pulled out the fucking minigun. <laughs> that was awesome. Pretty sure we're not alone. All right, and just like that, we just took out the super mutants. Wow, we uh, we made, <laughs> we got the jump on him, and boy, did we might wipe the fucking floor with them. Holy smokes! All right, that was uh, that was awesome. So yeah, this guy was stirring whatever the hell this is. Something about mole rats. Ugh. Oh, we'll take the teeth. I don't think we need the leather. You know what? We'll take the leather. All right. Well, we'll take the five millimeter ammo. We will definitely take Excellent. more astoundingly awesome tails. We'll permanently do 5% damage against super mutants. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, oh, did I not equip the thing I grabbed? I probably didn't equip it, did I? Since left arm. Uh, exterminator, minus damage against Myalurks, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, since we don't have any, since we don't have a legendary on the left arm anyway, we may as well take it, shouldn't we? All right, fine. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, left leg. Do we don't have anything? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Okay, that's slightly better than what we've got. We don't want the chameleon anyway. It sucks. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Pretty sure you're, uh, we're not alone. Was that your first tip? The guttural speech of the gunfire, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes the uh, companion dialogue is a little uh, like, really, dude? All right, so now we go into... Oh, there's nothing down here. It's just another way around this way. Well, we'll take some more Psycho. Sure, we'll try and pick this lock. Do that. And of course, McCready is a return character. He was originally in three. We'll get a little bit of that insight as we talk to him yes. a little bit. We don't need those weapons. We're good there. I don't think there's anything up. But since we're here, let's just explore it really fast. And yeah, there might be something in that. All right, sure. We'll take the radioactive material. That was useful. Worth looking at. Oh, there's a... I don't remember this door. Yes. Huh. Cue, uh... Uh, Gandalf. I have no memory of this place. Oh, the wrist wraps. Yep, we'll take those. We'll take bobby pins to replace the very many that I have managed to break on my own. We'll take shotgun. Yeah, we'll take antifreeze. Okay, and that's it for that shit. Okay. Okay, let's take a look over here now. We already explored that. Down we go. So if this is what I think it is, so we get like kids, uh, to kill like some sort of like CCD type of thing here. Clearly a room for kids. Teddy bear. I think that's another way out, right? Take the first aid. There's something specific that I'm looking for in here. That I vaguely remember. Oh, leave it. It's valuable, McCready. Shut up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's definitely go into the safe. Hell yeah, flip lighter time. We will take the another overdue book. All right, maybe this isn't the 
place I thought it was. The whole place has just kind of collapsed. Yep, we'll take more shot glasses. Lecterns. All right, maybe it isn't what I thought it was. Restroom, nothing here. Oops, cooler. Yeah, we'll take the Mentats. All right, we'll take those. You know, I must have been misremembering this and thinking something different. That's all right. We've cleared this location. Let's get out. Now I just have to climb out, which is always a little interesting. Nothing. I just got something in my eye. <laughs> so you must have had the same reaction looking at this and knowing there must have been kids here that didn't make it. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. But it is neat, like when the uh, companions have cool, unique dialogue about the lo various locations in the Commonwealth. For some reason I thought there were graves. Maybe I'm thinking swap four from that one mission. All right, now on to the library. Unless we get distracted by something else first. <laughs> Which never happens in a Fallout game. No, that never happens. <laughs> oh, goodness. So one of the mods I have running is a uh, something that helps with certain pre-combines. And it helps the downtown area of Boston run much better. And I don't know if that particular mod is available on PS4. But without it, there are certain areas of downtown where your FPS just plummets. Uh, it's just, it's very unfortunate. <laughs> um, but thankfully, because of that, for the most part, most of the areas in the game run pretty well. Thankfully. But we still have to deal with the load times from time to time. That's okay. I'll take another sip of soda. As we continue to get on with it. Oh, come on, game. Load already. <laughs> so the library... Okay. Oh, and yep, we got ourselves a nice little... Man, the game is beautiful here. <laughs> we got ourselves a nice little uh, rad storm here. And boy, the game is beautiful, man. I'm sure, we'll take that. We got a couple of areas into it. We're going to do a pretty, uh, we're going to do a funny way of entering into it, though. I fucking love this. <laughs> This is so great. The library is currently closed. Why is the library closed? The library is experiencing some technical difficulties. Please check our hotline for more details. <laughs> Made it 200 years ago, asshole. <laughs> I work here. Let me in. Yes, right. My <laughs> ID number is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome, Mr. Please enjoy your visit. <laughs> Mind the mess. What idiot would have that as their combination on their luggage? <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> so fucking great. Now we got a super mutant out here. So that gives us a clue of what we might encounter on the inside here. So let's open up the public library. Not that Daisy didn't warn us already that it was infested with super mutants, but finding a corpse outside corroborates her story. So we're about to have one hell of a firefight here. Let me give you my authorization code. It's E... <laughs> it's E-A-T-M-E. <laughs> Oh, it's awesome. All right. So let's uh, disarm that trip mine. Wish I probably should have kept that trip mine there. Okay, we're going to 
set that there. Boy, we got a bunch of dead super mutants here. Holy fuck. And we'll do that. Okay. We'll just go through here. Hang out over here for a quick minute. Take the hot plate. Bobby pin box. Any second. There we go. And employees are advised to seek cover and remain calm. Well, that bottle cap mine just took care of a bunch of super mutants that charged in. Shit. Shit. Let's get cover. <laughs> okay. That was a nice headshot in there. Thankfully, the protectrons helped me out here. I just gotta make sure I don't hit the protectrons. <laughs> yeah, that's a legendary skirmisher. We got a problem with that one. Where is it? Got him. Okay. Let's pull out the fucking big gun here. Sure, we'll pick this thing up and then we'll we'll scavenge later. Pick up the caps. <laughs> Cause yeah, this shit's this shit's gone crazy. So first things first, we clear the location, then we scavenge. Yeah, let's uh Kill that thing first. Wow. Not bad of that fucker. Not that I've had a whole lot of ammunition for this, but this is the time to use it. This fight is bonkers. God damn, man. Go. Good. You get. Yeah. You guys. Yep. You take lead on that. <laughs> you guys are doing great. <laughs> All right. Nice job, robots. Now, were any of these guys legendary? Let's find out. Sure, we'll take the stingwing meat. Man, we made a hell of a mess, but we defended it. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn, man. Okay. Now we scavenge and return Daisy's book. And imagine if what we what would have happened if we hadn't put that uh, that bottle cap mine down. Oh boy! Well, nope, they still managed to destroy that. And we got some. Ooh, fusion cores. We love fusion cores. All right. Uh, terminal. No, eh, it's probably not worth my time. Fuck that. Protect and serve. Don't want that. Don't need the deviled eggs. But we will grab any other overdue books that we can find. Yeah, we're taking that typewriter. Overdue book. We've already grabbed a decent number of overdue books. 
But that battle went pretty well, all things considered, because uh, obviously that can get really out of control really quickly. I probably didn't even need to use my 44 ammo for a lot of that, but that particular battle has gone sideways so many times for me in the past. That it's like, yep, nope, not fucking around. Let's just do it. <laughs> See, no one will want <laughs> Yeah, this just remember. <laughs> this is rock bottom. This is what rock bottom looks like. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, some of the uh, ways the skeletons are arranged are pretty um, gruesome and interesting. Did I really get all of the overdue books? Well, we'll try out the TV dinner tray. I feel like I'm missing overdue books. We need overdue books. Did I already go in here? I feel like I already did. Yes, I already went in there. This one I did not go into. I would have grabbed that fuse. Let's see. Where are the rest of these? Duct tape. We like duct tape. We'll take the plastic knife. At this point, we'll leave those. They're too heavy. Nuclear cola bottle. Uh, yeah, we'll take the ceramic bowl. Yes, we will definitely take pretty war money. Nothing else. Nothing else. Good. All right. Perfect. We're doing all right. Let's see. Let's move on down. Oh, we leveled up. So we'll need to grab that in a second. Gold watch. Yep. Uh, sure, we'll grab the new cola. That'll be useful for an item later, for ingredients later. Yes, microscope. Even though the microscope is fucking heavy as shit, it's still worth grabbing. Wow, is that really it? Really nothing of value down here, generally, unless there's overdue book, which I do not see. This is just another way up here. Let's take a look. Overdue books. Overdue books. Come on, give me overdue books. What's the point of picking up that junk? It's useful, Mercredi. Trust me. <laughs> eh, that's not great. Do -do -do. I don't need a chessboard at this point. We'll take that used oil can. Going full circle here. Okay. Going through that. We didn't see any other overdue books in there. Grab these guys. Grab that. Okay. I don't see any other overdue books over here. Cigar box. We'll take the cork. That's going to be useful for making um, items that don't weigh a whole lot. For reducing um, the weight, which we are going to need significantly. Yeah, I'll take the stingwing meat. That ends up being really good. Stingwing, um, stingwing steaks, or I forget what they actually make, what it's called when you make it. But it is, uh, it's good stuff. We have the duct tape. We want the duct tape. Do do do. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in there. Not seeing many overdue books, which is concerning. Now, granted, I've been picking up overdue books as I've been kind of going through some areas, but I remember there being a bunch of overdue books in here, and I'm a little concerned Jeez, that I don't see it. The other side. Oh, shit. oh, so here's Dalen, <laughs> whoever this guy is. Alarm clock, cola bottle, oh, we'll grab the toothbrush. Curator Givens. <laughs> yeah, nothing else there. Stimpacks. All right, now we'll grab the intelligence bobblehead. Yeah. Woohoo! So our intelligence just went up, which means military grade duct tape. Man, that stuff's awesome. That was the cool thing in this room. I never could wrap my head around all this science stuff. This up. Granted, the key is somewhere else. Uh, at some point, we'll grab magazines that make lock picking easier. We just haven't picked them up yet. Oh, cool. I picked up, I replaced my bottle cap mine. Grab the stealth boy. Yes, 
Yes, that's all very valuable stuff. 44 ammo, we like that. I don't think there's anything else of value in here. All right, now we just need to return that book. But I do want to go around the other way. We're probably going to need to fast travel and drop off a lot of the shit we've picked up because now we've scavenged a bunch. Like a lot. Ooh, free war money. We want free war money. Yep, that's good stuff. Yep, take that. Take antifreeze as well. Sure, we'll take ceramic. We do need ceramic. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Hey, dog me. Hey. Hey, boy. We knew that going in. I was just grabbing too many things. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's try and run around. That was over... That door that we couldn't open before was over this way somewhere. Let's cruise over and see what door that was. Is that over here? Yep, it was over here. All right. Is there anything else? Oh, we'll take another typewriter. Sure, we'll take extinguisher. I don't think there's any other. Really aren't any other. There really isn't any other overdue books. Fuck. I mean, I think I need more. But all right, well, let's go turn it in and see what happens. Fuck. Hopefully I have enough. I'm very concerned that I do not actually have enough. I guess we'll find out in a second, won't we? Return overdue books. Yep. Let's return all of our overdue books. So we got 40 book return tokens, and I think I needed 50. Motherfucker. <sighs> yep. So we're going to need to pick up a couple of more uh, overdue books at some point. We're just going to have to come back here for the Massachusetts Surgical Journal. That sucks, man. Uh, I wanted to just grab this journal so we didn't have to come back to the library, but I guess we're just going to have to keep an eye open. Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. I mean, we could pick up other things, but nothing else is worth redeeming other than that. That stinks, but it's not the end of the world. All right, go back. Sorry to waste time on that. I really, I thought we were going to have enough overdue books in here, but I guess not. Okay. But we're done here. So now we can go. And what we'll do is we'll just fast travel to... Um, we'll fast travel to Good Neighbor. And then we'll fast travel to Sanctuary. But uh, actually, we could... Uh, do we fast travel to Sanctuary? Or do we fast travel to uh, Starlight and drop off all this shit? We could just fast travel to Starlight and drop off all this shit. Because I don't think we have anything we need to craft. So we could just fast... You know what? Let's do that. Let's fast travel to Starlight. That way we don't have... We'll have less to go. And... We'll proceed to the distress call. And start Automatron. Because at this point, we don't need... Need, 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 McCready. I did want to explore the ruins a little bit. And I wanted to have somebody that we could actually work up their affinity with a little. And so, uh, if there's no... If there are no good perks to get, we'll take... We'll take, um... Now let's take a look at the level up here. I don't see Gunslinger. We can't level up that particularly well. We could do Armor, but um, one of the reasons why I do want to... Where's Hacker? There's Hacker. All right, so we only need advanced... Oh, well, we would need three ranks of this, but if I take a rank of this now, I only need to do two more ranks of it to get to be able to hack any terminal in the game. And for something in Automatron that's actually worth doing... Oh, right, but we could do Local Leader as well. <sighs> you know what? Let's do... I got an idea here. Let's... Okay, let's boost Agility. Weird does that mean? Yeah, no, no. We've got Master... Mr. Sandman is as high as we can get it. Ninja is what we want later, so let's boost agility really fast. Okay, I know how we're going to do this. 
we're just going to explore, we're going to discover this one location really fast. Because there's just going to be a couple of these little bastards. Fine. Rad roaches. Okay. Clear this location. This ends up being a useful holotape later. Grab this. Wah ha Little bastards. We'll take the irradiated wow. blood. They're not going to need that stuff anymore. Nope, they are not. And I think we just cleared the location. Aw, uh, can you not clear this location? This location you can't clear? Eh, alright, fine. Well, we tried. We tried. Okay. But I figured may as well discover the location really fast. Diamond City Security. Now nah, you're fine. Okay, let's warp to Starlight Drive-In. We'll drop off all this stuff, and then we'll make our way to the castle. We're going to we're going to liberate the castle. We're going to liberate the castle with McCready. And we're going to slowly make our way through the ruins of Boston to do it. I think what we'll do is we'll just warp. Yeah, we'll fast travel. Normally, I'm not a big fan of fast traveling, but again, I want to avoid the start of Automatron. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to we're going to liberate the castle first, and then we're going to uh, respond to that distress signal. So perfect. Come here, boy. That's no. Why? Come here. Ah. Uh. Yep. As soon as they said what, I knew there had to be an attack of some sort. Oh my god, rad scorpions. Motherfuckers. Hey, okay, we got one rad scorpion. Holy shit. Yep, one of them stung me, because they're a little bastard. Hey, we got that stingwing. Jesus. Not like fast traveling and finding yourself in a firefight, but thankfully uh, we had a Minuteman patrol right here. Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah. Do what you gotta do. That's right, guys. Hell yeah. <sighs> okay. Nothing like just showing up and getting yeah. fucking attacked. Now, where was that rad scorpion? That was around here, wasn't it? There it is. Take the rad scorpion meat. Fuck yeah, we will. Okay. Now then, let's head back. Heads up. Wish I could say I had half the guts you do. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool. It's nice when they actually compliment you. I don't know what that's like at all. Fucking Legion, right? <laughs> all right, where's McCready? There you are. Look alive. So now we got to just lug this shit over to the uh, workbench. It's going to take a second because, boy, are we going to <laughs> We're going to be a little slow. But we're already here. We just got to walk over to the workbench and we're going to be good to go. In that sense, maybe I should have uh, gotten... Need something? Ugh, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I should have gotten... Uh, local leader too, so I could have just built a fucking workbench of some sort instead of having to labor away. But our uh, headquarters is looking pretty good. Not too shabby. We're going to start building other shit pretty soon. Especially once we get local leader two. We're going to start building a restaurant. What we'll probably do is build a restaurant first because people need food and that makes sense. And it also adds to settlement happiness. It's helpful in that regard. There's our workshop. We just got to get to it. Oh my God. It takes so long when you're fucking over encumbered. That was a fantastic scavenging run. We got a lot of... We have a lot of... Um glass we've got um transfer store all junk yes okay let's also take a look we don't need 
Well, I may as well keep the power fist. We'll we'll break these things down at some point. I just need a work workbench for that. There's a lot of stuff we're not going to be able to break down here, though. That's okay. We will take the squirrel bits. We'll put that in there. Put all this shit away. Yes, that looks good. Uh, I have a use for the poisoned wine later. We'll, we'll keep it. <laughs> it actually improves our strength, oddly enough. And uh, actually, it boosts our max AP. It just brings down our intelligence, I guess, because you have to be dumb to drink poisoned wine. And it does 100 points of damage to us. So that, that would be bad. But interesting. Okay. Okay. So we're good here. Good grief, man. Holy fuck. Okay. Now we could go upstairs. Actually, let's take a quick look here. Beds, nine. People, five. Good. We're in good shape. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's cruise upstairs, actually. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just sleep for two hours. We'll take a quick nap. There we go. Now we're at full health. Well, mostly full health. Oh, right. I did want to take out that typewriter and put it there, but man, yeah, we'll do it later. Not do that now. Fuck it. I will take some rat away. However, okay, that looks good. Okay. So now what we could do is we could just go over land. But yeah, if I warp, if I try to cross this, we're we're gonna trigger automatron, which I really would rather not do. So I think instead, let's just warp to Boston Common. Yeah, we'll get there around noon. And we will reserve, resume our trek through the ruins of Boston as we uh, get to the castle. That's what we're going to want. And liberating the castle is one hell of a fight. Oh boy, is it a fight. <laughs> if I can, I definitely should find some more frag mines. And um, if I could, if I can... It would be good to track down a bottle cap mine or two also. I don't know if we will be successful at finding that, but we should. Hell, I could have warped to Diamond City and seen if Darturo sold some. I don't know if Arturo sells frag mines, actually. That's a good question. Maybe he does or maybe he doesn't. But yeah, if we could, if, at some point, we'll, we'll track down mines. Just because mines are so common to be littered around the, the Boston... <laughs> pardon me, Boston ruins. I don't think it'll be difficult for us to find them. But hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. Yeah, that's the only problem is this area of the game, the loading screens do take a little longer, but at least we saved some time rather than running through the entire map. Yeah, they're littered all over the towns. They're, they're everywhere. So we're going to keep an eye out for, for, frag, uh, for frag mines, for sure. Hmm. For some reason, my ear is really... My left ear is just driving me crazy here. It's really super itchy. <laughs> Post-apocalyptic welcome mats. <laughs> yeah, right? Of course, the time I choose to tinker with my earbud here is when that tinkers. Hello, cat. What's up, kitty kitty? Why are you meowing? <laughs> I'm up here, honey. Oh, we got a dust storm. Lovely. All right. So what we'll want to do is head south. Yeah, that's what we'll want to do. We'll want to head south and we'll try to make our way over this way. So let's do it. All right, combat zone again. Let's at least discover the combat zone. Perfect. I don't see this bastard. That's the best part about vats. <laughs> nice little sneak attack. Excellent. I could barely see anything in this fucking dust storm. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Let's just go this way for now. If we go over to that hospital, uh, a bunch of gunners are over there. It's super dangerous. And especially with limited visibility, I'd rather not have to fight all those gunners. 
We're gonna you know, just pass by this school. Granted, we got... We've got some sort of raider here by this, uh, inside that bus. We saw the silhouette, and it certainly looked like a raider to me. Take care of that dog. See if we can take out whoever this... <laughs> okay. Go. DB Technical High School. Problem solved. Managed to get our way through. We'll take two bottle caps. Let's see, is that a turret or just a part of the fence? Oh, Raider. <laughs> I love getting complete sneak attacks on these things. Oh, it's awesome. All right. Let's see. No mines. Yeah, no mines. All right, let's open the gate. Make our way down. Let's make our way over to the castle where Preston Garvey's waiting for us. Because he's right, we need the radio. Are, we're really having a hard time communicating. Ooh, we'll take the blast radius. Uh, no, that's too heavy. We'll take that. Hey, kitty kitty. Welcome back, cat. And what we can do is we can use the castle as our true headquarters, as opposed to uh, kind of a temporary. Oh, we got a raider fighting a bug over there. Wait, who is that? Oh, that's a wastelander. Yeah, but they're going into an irradiated area. I'm not following you over there. And that I'm definitely not going anywhere near. That's Super Mutant Central. Fuck that place. What? We got a red rocket station. These are always good for salvage. Let's go check out what's in here. Yeah, at this point, we'll grab that. Sure, we'll grab that. Hey, hi. <laughs> hi, honey. Sorry, I had a cat swipe at my foot. What's up, kitty kitty? What? My foot is not a toy. What you doing? What you doing? You want to play with my foot? Come here. Come here. I'll give you a pet. Please don't. My foot is not a toy cat. <laughs> Come here. Hi. I love you, cat. Sorry. My co-host has decided to cause chaos. <laughs> There's nothing like playing again. Ow. Okay, don't bite my leg. Okay, Cleo, what do you want? What you want, honey? <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. Good girl. Yeah, sit sit on my foot. Good girl. All right, good cat. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I don't know what she wants, but there's nothing like... <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my God, that's the perfect emoji set for this. Nothing like playing a game all of a sudden, you just feel like the bottom of your shin. You just feel like... Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> She's such an asshole. Uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness, my cat. She is uh, she is a character. Always keeps me on my toes. And yeah, we'll take asbestos. Let's see, ah, that's what we were looking for. We were looking for a weapons workbench. All right, so let's take a look. We got a photon exciter. Do we build the stand? Oh, fuck, we don't have anything to build the standard capacitor. Fuck. All right, um, can we do anything else with anything else? No. Okay, well, when we could build the uh, the standard one, let's see, actually, Righteous Authority. That's an excited capacitor, right? That's what we saw. What, what was on that? Sorry. Photon exciter. What am I doing? Okay. Oh, the photon exciter is actually worse. So, fuck it, we don't need it. Let's just... Ugh. We only get six plastic for that? All right, fine. I'd rather have the six plastic. I should have just sold it, but whatever. Uh, that we're keeping. All right, well, we can't do anything else. It's fine. All right, well, that was sort of a loss. Second I see an armor workbench, though, we can um, break down some of these armor pieces we got. <laughs> Good, we got circuitry. Yes, Mr. Handy Fuel is awesome. Okay, we can't close the door. We will definitely take the office. We need to power radio lost. Okay. We got the used oil can. Let's take coolant. Okay, we don't need that. Okay. Yep, we're staying the hell away from all that. Okay. Resuming our course. 
so southeasterly. Next closest location is whatever that star location is. And I don't think our character would remember what uh, what this was pre-war. Not that... Um, nope, okay. Let's kind of slowly approach it here. Your last mistake was announcing that you were waking up, fucker. So we got a military checkpoint here. Well, let's slowly sneak in and see what's going on in here. We'll take that. Could grab a military cap. Ah, fat man. <laughs> Five millimeter rounds. Military ammo bag. <sighs> take the fat man. And uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll just transfer it in there. Yep, we did grab a mini nuke off of that. We had five and now we've got six. So it was worth picking up the fat man just to put it back in the duffel bag. Oh, I missed him. Shit. That's time. Yep. All I had to do was wait for him to turn the corner and then I could waste him. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that sucked. But now let's grab guns and bullets. Ballistic weapons permanently do plus 5%. Critical damage. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Well, just like that, this place should be mostly clear. We'll grab those. Gunners. Fucking gunners. Take dog tags. Fusion cells. And let's pick this lock. Oh, yeah. Up. Oh, where'd the cat go? Where did my, where did my cat go? Never good when uh, <laughs> she wanders. Am I losing my mind here? Okay. There we go. It's over here somewhere. All right. But now at least I have an idea of where it is. Oops, I went too far. There we are. There we go. Got it that time. Sweet. Certainly was worth the uh, ammo. Okay, we don't have any of that. It's all light. This Gunner Commander. Jeez. Let's see if I can turn off that stupid fucking message. Burn if orders. Dressed, yep. Mostly just an inspection place. Log entries. Huh. So a bunch of normal names and then a Wu family, huh? Status, detained. Subjects displayed suspicious behavior, resulting in full inspection. Yeah, suspicious. They were the, uh, they were the wrong, uh, they looked wrong, according to these guys. So they, they just detained him. Fucking shameful. I feel like there's a way I could turn off that this annoying message. ass message, but um, I'm not seeing where it is, so whatever. Let's just get a uh, weapons workbench. Damn. Yeah, I would have liked an armor workbench. But no big deal. There, what's, what's over here? Okay, yep, power armor. That's pretty neat. Can't hack that terminal, but if I wanted a new set of power armor, actually, that looks like T60. That is T60. Wow. That's a nice set of T60. All right. So we're going to have to come back here when we can hack that terminal. Man, that's loud as fuck. Whatever. All right. So we've got everything of value here. 
picking up that dust can. Oh, we're definitely taking that military, uh, definitely taking that military grade duct tape. Okay, so that's Andrew Station. Yep, that's Andrew Station. Okay, so let's begin this wonderful sojourn up here. Let's cruise over here. First things first, let's grab that fusion core. And then we'll cruise up here. All this. Let's go up there and let's check that out. I, re I briefly remember what's up there. But it's also high ground, so we can check things out. Cat! There's a kitty! Cat, cat! Chemistry station. Oh, we got a safe up here. I forgot we had a safe up here. And yeah, we'll turn off the radio. We'll take the alarm clock. But we don't see... See a cap stash. Well, let's take a look. It's a sweet setup, Jamal. It really is. Up so high, you don't have to worry about nothing. That drop is the only thing that bothers me. You know how I get at nights, especially after I've been drinking. Up here, if I don't go out for a stroll, it'll... Uh, up here, if I do go out for a stroll, it'll probably be the last. Yep. And so, yep. Poor, uh... Poor bastard. It's not too difficult to figure out what happened here. This guy went out for a stroll... When he really shouldn't have. That's it. Uh, yes, we need a frag mine. We did need that mine really bad. Unfortunately, well, cat. Uh, <laughs> if this if this shit were real, you'd be coming with me, buddy. But at the very least, we can always come up here and uh, just make sure that uh, someone's feeding him and whatnot. But we'll take the ceramic because ceramic is valuable. And uh, at this point, we could take the high the road over here and then drop down, which might be the way to go. This is Andrew Station? What? Yeah, Andrew Station's tough. Okay, we can't detect it from here, so that's fine. Nothing there now. What do you think? We'll do it later. We'll come back for Andrew Station. He was only two days till retirement, right? So we'll go over this way, and what we ultimately want is we want to make our way over to that building all the way over there. Wait, why do we got gunners up here? Well, shit, we're going to have to take care of these fuckers. Oh, right, right, I forgot. This is another way up to Mass Bay, where the gunners have uh, kind of set up shop. Right, those are gunners. Oh, raiders. Fucking raiders. Wow. Uh. Takes care of that. They were harder to kill than I kind of thought they would be. Whoops. Ah. Uh. Did the bodies fall through? Bodies probably fell through. Oh, no. They're just over here. I just went the wrong way. Yep, we need those. Uh, no, right leg. I have a legendary item in my right leg. That's unfortunate. For right now. Granted, I could be swapping legendary a legendary to a better uh, to a better leg piece. But for now, probably not worth the effort to do. Go. Don't see anybody down here? Well, we'll just kind of come up from above. Try and do this. Anybody? No? Nobody? So far, so good. Okay. I'll take pre war money. I'll take the army fatigues. So there's a magazine just sitting on the floor um, in this building somewhere. I just have to remember exactly where it is. But yeah, there's just a magazine sitting in plain sight. Which usually magazine... Um, what was that? Oh, 
just a shadow. <laughs> but I'm trying to have having a hard time remembering exactly where it is. I thought it was just over here. But maybe it's upstairs. Must be upstairs. Yep, there it is. Nice. Ragnack the Barbarian. Like we'll take that. Okay, and we can get the hell out of here. This is really unusual. Usually you have to fight to get to this point. Very unusual that there's nothing in this area. Very, very unusual. <laughs> there's an unmarked location up there. Which we could go to. We got a little snail diner over here. Take that. I think I saw a message in the upper left-hand corner there for a second, but I missed it. Hopefully it's not something is under attack. Uh, so we could pick this lock and go into the southeast speakeasy, but we're not going to do that right now. But um, that is the other entrance into Andrew Station, if we chose to clear out the raiders in Andrew Station right now, which we are not. Because that would be a really tough fight. And we don't need that at the moment. But what we can do... We're gonna just, yeah, we'll take a bag of concrete. See anything here? Okay, we'll check it out. Nope, nothing. Nothing of value. All right, fair enough. Back out we go. Fucking blood bugs. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to mess around with that. Oh, emergency frequency. Okay, we probably just picked that up. So that's an unmarked location. We could go in there and uh, check things out. Let's do that real quick. Uh, nasty insect. Damn. Fuck. Hey, Vats. Damn. This is where Vats is really helpful. Dealing with these stupid insects that are stupid, like, really hard to hit. That's the only problem. Yeah. Mutant mosquitoes that are the size of cats. <laughs> Fucking terrible. And of course, stingwings are wasps. So, you know, somehow even fucking worse. But as we get closer, let's go check out this factory. Search for salvage on our way to the castle. This place is not very big. Like most unmarked locations, they're they're not very large. We gotta deal with this second thing. Hit it, yes we can. Good. That's what I call a confirmed kill. Let's just kill that thing before we get any further. Can't jump in there, but I need to hit that button at some point. I don't think I can nope, we can't. Alright, we gotta deal with this. Whoops. Okay, that we're going to just shoot. Ugh. Fucker, come on. Fucking bats. Fuck, or rather, fucking rad roach. There's... Off. Got those? Yeah, we'll take the nuclear material. Safety like. off. I think we have a couple. They're here! Over here! Nice shot, McCready. Okay, that looked like it hurt. And good job, dog meat. Alright. Take some circuitry. These are nice. Mentats. Yep, we'll take plastic. Brain fungus, brain fungus, brain fungus. Take the door. Nice of it to start us so Got close. It. Okay. Wow, got one hell of a uh, liquor cabinet here. <laughs> sure, we'll take the glass. Wine bottle, vodka bottle, burgundy bottle. Eh, let's take the normal wine, sure. Take vodka. Yep, all right, fine. 
Sure, we'll take rum. We'll take whiskey. Hey, boy. Look alive. Good boy. I love the fact that we could treat our companions as uh, containers. Really, really helps things out. All right. We're just going to stir the things that weigh a pound. All right. And I'll just be more and more judicious with things. Okay. So obviously this is a corrupted file. Financial report. Corrupted. Security door control. Open the door. Yep. Perfect. All right. Now that door is open. We'll grab the telephone. Let's pick this lock. It's really a shame that McCready doesn't like when we pick locks. Of course, now that we're, now that we've maxed out Piper, now we're encountering a whole bunch of locks that we could pick. Nice. Like, go figure, right? Yeah, we'll take plasma cartridges. That's nice. Cool. And down we go. Nope. Yes. Good. Help us skip a little bit of that. And now in we go. Woohoo! We like money. That typewriter will keep. That typewriter we're definitely going to keep. And then this door opens and closes that door, I think. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that did. Hmm. Hmm, whatever. Yeah, that 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 would just open this door if uh, if we had somehow gotten in there and it's to keep people from getting trapped in there. But in any event, oh. Grab the used key. No, it's valuable, McCready, especially considering we're about to uh, free the castle. We're going to need that. We're definitely going to need that. And at least we have one frag mine. I would have liked to, to have found more. Hopefully we can still find more, but I don't think so. I think we've pretty much got what we're going to get on the way to the castle. Now we just have to survive the super mutants in between where we are and where we're going. And we could have theoretically taken a safer route that went a little more southerly, but then we would have gone a little closer to... Um... Oh god, what's that settlement that got wiped out by the Institute? Um, not Jamaica Plain. I mean, Jamaica Plain is a little more south, but... Um, oh my goodness, I'm totally blanking on the name of it now. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We're, we're going to end up going there to kind of clear it out in a little while. Because what we'll do is we'll go back to Diamond City, and a, one of the NPCs there, Hawthorne, is going to give us a bunch of clues and places to check out. We're going to head over this way. Now, oh yeah, reload. Okay. Let's just quick save so we don't die. Oh boy. This place is filled with ghouls. And this place is filled with super mutants. And it sucks. Nice job, McCready. You're the one who fucking hit its mini nuke, you little bastard. Yeah, that was the problem. Cool central now. Okay, that ended up not being too bad. I thought we were going to get swarmed by a lot more than that. Where is it? It's up there somewhere. He's up there. No, he's up there. Well, let's at least get the nuclear material from the exploded super... Oh. Sure, we'll take that. For some reason, that super mutant suicider had rad roach meat on him. Why? We don't know. He just did. That's not what I wanted. Oh, there you are.
Let's, uh, food, 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 food. We haven't eaten anything in a little while. Let's do, let's do these. Okay. I hear something. Yep, and you keep going the wrong way. Douchebag. This way. Try and get the, let's try and get the jump on this fucker. Time to die. Now. No, yeah, the other way. All right. Running a little low on 10 millimeter ammo. That's not great. Although I think we still have enough to finish uh, to do the castle here. Yeah, I'll take up as many frag grenades as we can. Rad scorpion meat, sure, no problem. I wonder what dog meat found. Where are you, boy? down there huh what'd you find all right sure rad scorpion stinger good job all right well there's all that mole rat meat or something there we go how's it feel sure we'll take rad scorpion stingers all right we've got everything we need out of this managed to pick up a legendary weapon so that was pretty cool Jesus, McCready, I thought you were another super mutant that we missed. I almost shot the shit out of that guy. <laughs> All right, good. We don't have any more of those ghouls chasing us, thankfully. We're almost to the castle now. We just got to cross. All right, well, we may as well discover General Atomic's factory while we're here. Since we're this close. Okay. then what we need to do is we just need to cross this little inlet. We got a couple of choices. We could either just swim it at this point, which might actually not be the worst idea. Sure, we'll take the psycho because we can get up right above there. We could just cross the irradiated water or we could go between all that shit. I'm thinking let's just let's just cross the water. We'll take our rads. Come on. <sighs> okay. Well, <laughs> for better or worse, this is happening. Hey there. Everyone's here, General. <laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the Minutemen always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. <laughs> why do we need this place? But yeah, for 600 years old, it's pretty good shape. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, you could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. <laughs> well, if we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? And so we can... We have a complete choice. They gave you a bunch of battle options and I wish they would do this more. Um, I'm glad they did this at all, but um, you basically get to choose the plan of attack, which I think is awesome that you get to uh, basically kind of come up with a tactical approach of this. I prefer the firing line. I tend to, I see, I, I find that tends to put them in less jeopardy um, and because these Minutemen, except for the one, are not essential. So if they get killed, they're just dead. So I try to keep as many of these alive as possible. Set up a firing line, and I'll draw them out. Sounds good. 
We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Good. We need these mines. <laughs> Thank you, Preston, for having ammunition set up and ready for me. What's the point of picking up that junk? Oh, God, McCready, shut up. <laughs> yeah. We got an ad starting in a second, so I'm going to take a quick break because I need to uh, I'm going to refill my water really fast. And this is the perfect time to do that. So while the ad plays, I will be right back and then we're going to liberate the castle. Excellent time. Ow! Assuming I don't kick my desk. <laughs> uh, this is I fiddle with my earbuds here. Got that in there. All right, there we go. Much better. Oh, let's try and do this without any Minutemen dying. We got this. All right. Time to clear the courtyard. Let's do this. Fucking Meyer lurks. We'll go with that. Shit, one of them threw a grenade at us. Nice job. All right. Any casualties? You guys stayed back. All right, good. All right. Well, we got tons of my lurk meat. <laughs> Hey, Warhammer, how are you, my friend? We're just playing some Fallout. All right, we got Mylurk eggs. Another Mylurk. And we got this little bastard. All right, we're gonna have to clear these guys. 
Good. You guys are still over here. Good. You're waiting for me to kill one more Mylark, aren't ya? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to kill one more Mylark. But you know what? This works. Because the more of these we kill without putting them in harm's way, the better. Well, there's the last one. Now we got all these fucking hatchlings. Yep, and they ran in. Whoop, ow! Fucking hate when they hit me with Molotov cocktails. It's the worst! <laughs> now I gotta do a stim pack because they injured me. Oh my god. Nice job there, guys. Good grief. Alright, so let's, uh. No, food with drinks let's drink some purified water that's fine okay okay looks like they've been nesting we're gonna have to take out these eggs they'll be back before we know it lurks like to hold up inside old building so the walls are probably full of them sure looks that way here's how we're gonna play this <laughs> Yes, sir. Let's do this, General. All right, time to clear, clear all this shit. We'll grab as many Alario eggs as we can. The ones we can't grab, they're gonna hatch, so we destroy anything we can't actually take, like that one. Good. Oh, little bastard. Oh, there's another one. Where is it? Okay, so while that's going on, doo -doo 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 -doo, don't mind me. I'm not metagaming. I'm not metagaming at all. Nope. No metagaming here. No metagaming. No metagaming. <laughs> okay, so, uh, um, Preston, that's really not a good place for you, buddy. Okay, perfect. Okay. For no particular reason whatsoever. <laughs> okay. So they got to go up the walls real quick. Okay, so now we're going to clear the inside of the building here. Bastards. No. No. That's what I call a confirmed kill. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll take the missiles for now. Actually, is there 10 millimeter ammo in there? Well, that was helpful, but all right. Clear. Clear. You mean that there's another way to play the game with no metagaming? <laughs> yeah. I usually don't, but this is one place where, yes, I do. Come on, you little bastards. Okay, got those. Back up to the wall we go. That's what we need to worry about. Fuck. There we go. <sighs> Critical hit. Jesus, with all the mines, still only. 
Shit, shit, shit. Stimpak, Stimpak time! <laughs> and now you see why I metagamed it a little bit. Because even with all those mines, we only took off half of the fucking Myler Queen's health. It's insane. Come on. Fine. Let's at least take the guaranteed hits here. <sighs> okay. Holy fuck. Bastard. Bad time for a reload. But we got most of it. Kill you. Okay. Any casualties? Any casualties? Oh. oh. Dog meat was necked down. Right. Good work, Oof. People. But we aren't done yet. Holy crap. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio to see what's <laughs> in the The rest of you, clear out any remaining Myrlurks or any survive. <sighs> now we find out if the Myrlurk Queen killed any of the, uh... Let's go see if there's anything left anything with the old transmitter. Ooh, combat armor chest piece heavy, huh? We will take that. I believe we actually managed to take that thing down. Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm going to go see what else is left around this old place. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I need you to just carry some shit here, buddy. Just for a minute. Okay, so we got the, uh, yeah, we eating crab meat tonight. Hell yeah, we're eating crab meat. <laughs> we're eating crab meat for days. Whew. So yeah, the Myler Queen, it's a fucking beast. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. So we got to get rid of all the rest of the uh, Myler eggs and shit but uh yeah the myler queen that thing is awesome um or that thing is tough as shit <sighs> and so yeah i definitely cheese that fight a little bit you better believe i mine the shit out of where it comes because as you saw it could fuck you up so fast with its poisoned um with its poison spray oh my god it's just awful so at this point, yeah, we're going to clear the rest of this. Clear the rest of the Myrlurk eggs. And then we're going to get that radio up and running. <laughs> Myrlurk meat. Oh, yeah, boy. We're going to have endless amounts of fucking Myrlurk eggs. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's great shit, man. Yeah, I didn't manage to get it. Sorry. Right. Dog meat got the rest of it. Crab meat and salads. Uh, in sandwiches and casseroles. What other ways can we prepare this stuff? <laughs> right? We're gonna need to start getting creative. Where is it? Oh shit. Mr. Myrler. Okay, yeah, we'll take more Myrlurk meat. <laughs> Nothing like mutated crab meat. All right, last one of these things. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Oh, you shouldn't have. Myrlurk eggs. Yes. Take all the Myrlurk eggs. That will certainly ease up on the weight. Okay. Let's open this up. Yeah, we got one more. One more fucking nest. Fuck. One of them hatched in it. Nope. Yep, it did. Little bastards. That's how we do things around here. Fucking A, that's right. Okay. Everything else here looks good. Okay. Now let's get the radio up and running. Let's see what we can do with this radio. First things first, let's grab the magazine. Yes. Now that we've actually cleared it. Of course, this guy can't get it to work yet. All right. So the radio transmitter requires 10 power. So that's what we're gonna need. 
Okay, so we got that connected. So let's uh, store all junk. <clears throat> no, dog meat, stop running! Oh, why do they do that? Hey, it's so annoying. <laughs> like I click on it to trade, and he starts running away. Uh. You know what that has mutated my sight glow in the dark is granted freshness. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh man. It's fucking great. Store all junk. Let's see. Mirelurk eggs. Draft all that stuff. Yep, Mirelurk meat. Going fungus. Uh we'll keep all that stuff for right now. Alright. Heads up. Myrlic eggs, yes. Take all Myrlic eggs. Transfer all the Myrlic eggs. Perfect. All right. Now. Heads up. Don't even think about it, dog meat. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we can take all this other stuff. And there's a reason why we needed to grab everything we could put in here. There's a reason why we were scavenging like absolute madmen. We need this. We need this right here. Okay. We're going to connect that to that. You. Okay. And so now this is all connected. And we've got power that runs kind of through this complex now and out through the back. So now let's cruise outside. This will make sense in a second. and still managed to hit me. Fucker. Oh, we got some more. Fine. We'll grab some more of these. Back. Oh, let's may as well grab these while we're at it. Okay, now we go outside. Oof. Yep, we'll take the mire lurk meat. Take the mire lurk meat. Hey cat! Hello, kitty cat. Oh man, those that wave looks awesome. <laughs> All right, so here's the cool part. Yep. All right, so we got a water. We've got this out here. And so anything we build out here is now all connected electrically to everything we've built inside. So at this point, let's structures, wood, floors. All right, we can build two shack foundations. So that's what we're going to need to do. Uh, assuming McCready can get the fuck out of the way. Thank you. Good grief. Uh, actually, I probably want this away from that. Let's do that over here. Instead. All right, and we'll do we'll do this over here. Okay. Okay. How many can we build? Okay, good. We could build what we really need. We probably need like four of these, realistically. I mean, we at least need 15 because this requires five and the radio tower required uh, 10. So, yeah, let's just do let's just do that. Come on, buddy, you can do it. All right, voila, we just connected the radio and our water container. Perfect, and all the lights just came on in the sit in the uh, actual castle. This is cool shit, man. Oh, and look at that, we already got a fucking quest. <laughs> cool problem, and you know what though? Green Top Nursery is a good, uh, is a good quest to have. So just like that, we've got ourselves a radio. So this is cool shit. So anytime any kind of correspondence comes into the castle, they can now reach me instantly. Fists and knives never need reloading. That is true. That is very true. Okay. So where did Preston go? We don't want that. Fine. 
Where's Preston? There's Preston. <laughs> Hey, buddy. We just got Excuse me. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the Minutemen men fall to pieces for so long, I just... This is really sad. Now we've got to pay off on what we started, bring the whole Commonwealth together, and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasting <laughs> one piece we, at a time. We, we've already done that. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great. That works. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. Nice job, Garvey. You're, you're old news, buddy. That's all right. So we just got XP for that, uh, that settlement. All right, cool. So the castle is up and running here. We'll, uh, we'll come back to this. We'll, we'll put a pin in this whole thing. And Preston's now going to go back to Sanctuary, which suits me just fine. All right, the problem is we're going to need to go to Oberlin Station and help defend it. So that part kind of sucks. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's let's deal with that crisis. Problem is we're going to need ammunition. So you know what? We're going to head west on our way to rescue Oberlin Station from their uh, raider attack. And... Uh, Oh, shit, there's another one. Oh. Ugh. Fucker. You know what? We'll take that. <sighs> Caught up on a rail here. Okay. Not that I'm thrilled about wasting that ammo, but I was kind of running low on the 10 millimeter and I'm like, you know, shit. And those razor claws can be, can be bad business that. Okay. Food. One honest. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck you. Shit. Okay, well, wow. that was super lame. That stuff anymore. Okay, gas canister, we'll definitely take that. We're gonna need that. Okay, so the plan will be, we'll go back to Oberlin Station and we're gonna build a settlement beacon Sweet. there. And we're gonna turn that into a better kind of um, logistics base. Because what I'll want to do is have two provisioners. I want one provisioner to go back to, um, fuck it. Uh, Jesus Christ. The idea here will be, I need to connect the castle to our overall logistics net. So once we get Oberlin station taken care of with the Raiders, I'll set up a provisioner that'll run the, uh, length here from Oberlin station to the castle. And then we'll send one from Oberlin Station up to Grey Garden. And that'll be the idea there. And then by the time we're done with Automatron, we could build a robot at Grey Garden and have that uh, go from Grey Garden to Starlight Drive-In, and then the whole thing will be complete. And by then, we could start building at the castle a little bit more. Oh, right. Let's level up a little bit. Gunslinger still can't. Ooh, we could do Black Widow. Fuck yeah. see anything over here it's too quiet over here don't like that one bit definitely don't like uh how much um oh, let's do right away too while we're at it 
not a fan of how much, um, what am I doing? Do I not have right away? Oh, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> uh, how much ammunition I'm going through. Fuck. Okay. That's efficient. Nice little sneak attack there. Yeah, we may as well take the Meyer Lurk meat. Fuck it. It's going to do that shit to us. We may as well at least take the crab meat. There are a bunch of raiders up there. I really don't want to fight raiders right now. Start going a little faster here. Antique globe. Nothing up here. Right? Nope, nothing. That's the place I was thinking of, but I didn't want to get too close to it. Oh, well, we've got a couple of people down here. Let's see what's going. <laughs> Pikmin's calling card. Once we get to Good Neighbor, that will make a little more sense. All right, so that's the general safer way. Yeah, through that. University Point was what I was thinking of. But yeah, I was a little wary getting a little close to this, but it looks like it's okay. But we are going to have some insults here that we're going to have to deal with. Pretty sure we're not alone. Yeah, that was two headshots there. Where's this other dude going, though? All right, time to switch to the pistol. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Got the reload. Up another kill for me. I do have to reload sometime, but it's going to be after you're dead, buddy. Hey, take care of the makeshift bomb. <sighs> right, I could have shot this and it would have done a lot of damage to them. I forgot about that. Okay, what else we got over here? We'll take chems. We'll definitely take the used oil can. Don't need to worry about any of that stuff. All right, let's get the hell out of here now. Okay, and now we're back in this general area. We just take the road up. We get some glow sticks and have a great time with the ravers, raiders. <laughs> yeah, right? So what we'll do is we'll just skirt the ruins of Boston on the south side as we make our way over to Oberlin Station. Well, actually, we're going to skirt the ruins of Boston on the south side. And then we're going to kind of cut up and go back to Diamond City. And by the time we get there, we should be able to, uh, by then, if uh, Arturo isn't awake yet, what we'll do is we'll just buy home plate and we'll sleep. And then in the morning, we'll go to Arturo and uh take care of that yeah we got to avoid this fucking completely radioactive oh shit right i need to avoid this is what we need to kind of avoid and be very careful of here because i don't need to be drawn into a fight with all the super mutants in there and i saw something run up there Let's just cruise a little more south most part we can move we can move pretty quick as long as we're sufficiently south looks like all the super mutants are indoors up oh, there's one patrolling on the outside but we're far enough away it doesn't seem to see us that's good that's very very good good we'll keep our distance from that we are not going to go through the town that's over there Fuck's sakes. Fucking Yao Guai. God damn it. <sighs> the super mutants did not hear that gunshot. Oh, thank goodness. Find anything useful on <sighs> Okay. Holy shit, that could have been terrible. Fucking Yao Guai in the middle of nowhere. Goodness gracious. That's awful. All right. 
Oh, good, dear God, you gotta be kidding me, right? Nope, we're just gonna go around this way. Really don't want to be in a fight with a legendary Mr. Gutsy, but you know what? Let's see what happens. Now we do a critical hit and see if that's we could finish it off. We got him. Oof. Ho ho ho. Get some grenades and spread the love, right? I mean, we do have grenades. Let's see what this thing had on him. A fucking kneecapper fat man. Oh my god. Well, we'll take the. Ow! Shit. Fucking car. Damn car exploded but at least the car didn't didn't kill us like last time good grief do that all right hey uh dog meat dog meat look alive you okay jesus christ yeah kneecap or fat man yeah you can take that you know what take the grog next axe too and that for that matter okay all right. Now, we're not going anywhere near those areas. Although we will go and discover this. While well, I'm thinking about it, though. Yeah, why am I... Oh, my God. I've got way too many frag grenades. I do not need to... Yeah, you know what? The next time we're... The next time we're at the castle or whatever, we'll store those grenades. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be anywhere near that right now. We'll definitely take our level here. Mole rats. Extend the satellites. Wow, I keep missing. There we go. Got it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we'll take all that. Cool. Okay. We'll deal with the broadcast later. As it is, we're getting distracted by a bunch of uh, side quests. And we're almost at a 10 millimeter ammo. Oof. All right, let's let's uncover the location, but we're not going to investigate it. But let's at least get the XP for getting close. Come on, buddy. Give me the XP for getting close. Problem is there are Yaguais in this area. Good. All right, now let's get the hell away. No, it's not. We will investigate that later uh, at some point. But nope, not not now. <laughs> we're we're running tremendously low on ammunition. I really don't want to fight more Yaguais. Because basically they're just a couple of bears in there and they're storm everybody out. But there is some cool stuff to explore in there. Huh. What's this? I actually don't remember this. Grocery cart. Hmm. A couple of cigar box. Huh. What is this? I don't remember this. A learner's note. Look, Bosco, I ain't going back. I'm over 60, for God's sake. Let me alone. I've done enough over the years. Saved my cap, found a little place in the woods south of the city. I'm going to settle in and enjoy my retirement. Not many that can say that these days. Oh, and everything else is owned. Oh, there must be somebody out here. Well, the note, it let me take the note. Oh, here's Eleanor. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you got and let's see if we can make a deal. Yeah, I got a free minutes to browse. minutes to browse. Shit, I hope you got ammo. That would be awesome if you've got ammo. Please tell me you have ammo. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that is a godsend. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's sell the 50, uh, 50 caliber. We're selling the 38s. <sighs> Sell the shotgun shells. I don't use those. 
Yep, sell missiles. Hell yeah. Okay, we are in great shape now. And let's just sell the five mil. Yeah, let's sell five mil. We'll do that. Okay, we'll make money off that deal. Perfect. Thank you, Eleanor. You are awesome. Of course, when they mentioned Bosco, Bosco is a raider. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, she was a former raider. But now we're not nearly as hard up for ammo. Yes, re reload. <sighs> that was huge, man. That was absolutely huge. All right, so we got that. Let's still go to Diamond City, though. I'm thinking let's still... Yeah, let's still go into Diamond City. Oh, let's uh, let's level up. Come on. All right, what can we do? Oh, there we go. You're in a... Yes. Let's boost sneak. For sure. Good boy. <laughs> All right, we're starting to get better here. Into Diamond City we go. So we won't have to wait long. We'll just wait and uh, we'll do a little business with Arturo. Hell, we might even go to the chemistry station, brew some chems because we can trade with... Ooh, that's an ice box. There's almost always ammunition in those. Check it out. Well, all right. We'll take the junk anyway. So bone is useful because we can eventually make cutting fluid with that. And so in universe, what we're going to be doing is we're going to eventually make a synthetic oil plant. Which ironically enough is the solution for the post-war resource needs of uh, of our Minuteman faction as we try to rebuild the Commonwealth. I don't know if it would work pre-war because the energy needs of Boston in general really required nuclear energy. But synthetic oil will certainly take care of our paltry by comparison energy needs. It will turn the lights on and it will power the various things that we do need it to power. All right, we got Diamond City here. Now we can go over and we can liquidate some of these things. Hey, Look buddy. Alive. Good boy. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep those. I'll take the pipe pistol. You don't need that. Take the hunting rifle. Um, that is really silly for that. I don't think we need anything else. Sure, I'll take the combat knife. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have gotten a little further. God damn it. I should have gotten a little further, but that's okay. We're almost there. Oh, we walk so slow. I forgot how so absolutely slow it is. <laughs> yeah, no problem, buddy. No problem, officer. Not looking to make any trouble. Of course, everything here is... Yeah, we could shop there if we needed to. That's okay. perfect. All right. So we are going to scrap that and we will get a legendary microchip. Scrap the combat knife. Yeah, we're not doing the violent one. That thing sucks. All right. There's that. Now then, we go over here to the ammo armor workbench. Right. We definitely want to keep that chest piece. Let's see. Although there really isn't anything all that great, is there? Hmm. Scrap that. Yeah, we're going to scrap that. We don't need that. I'd rather have the legendary shit. Yeah, we don't need the chameleon. That ends up totally sucking. All right, so we got a combat armor chest piece. Can we build anything? I don't think we can. Nope, we really can't. Okay, that's okay. Because we don't have armor or any of those other perks that are really necessary for it. But could we take off something? Not yet. That's okay. We'll just keep it for now. Let's switch off apparel. Let's switch out the armor. Wait, what was that? Super mutant. Ah, right. We've got a super mutant one. So let's go tinker with this. 
let's equip that yeah wow look at that our uh our armor bonuses are significantly better holy shit okay so we can we could probably scrap the dc guard left armor or at least sell it yeah we could get rid of the that too we'll definitely be able to get rid of that okay i don't think there's anything else here perfect anything unequipped now we can just scrap so let's scrap that oh we only get one steel fuck it i'd rather sell it yeah, I'd rather have that. Take that. Okay. Anything else in here that we want? Let's scrap. Oh, right. We're not going to scrap that. All right. And we'll keep the army fatigues. Perfect. Okay. Um, maybe later, Percy. Remember, we're open 24 hours a day. All right. Perfect. Let's, uh... Dog me. Actually, no. Answer. Hey, Percy. Actually, that's fine. Actually, yes. Let's sell something. Okay. What happens when we try to sell that? Oh, God. It's paltry fucking... Wow. So it's cool, but man, it's next to worthless. That sucks. That sucks a lot. But fine. I'd rather have the four battle caps than one freaking steel that really stinks dude really oh well fine i don't need that many grenades i'd rather have the 200 caps what do you got buddy yep that works for me sure done okay that works we like caps okay so we don't really need to wait for arturo we got 300 but you know what let's wait anyway We'll go to the bench, and I think Ghosty said they wake up around 8 o'clock. So if we wait one hour... Oh, yep, sure. We'll wait one hour, and we'll see. Because now we're just a few minutes away from everything else. Everybody should start waking up in a second if it's truly 8 o'clock. And if it's 9, we'll wait an hour. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Yep, cool. That's that's a good sign. Perfect. Huh. Hey, buddy. Arturo, you need protection. Yes, we do. Everyone does. Let's see what you've got. Self-defense at its best. I don't actually know where I got that heavy chest piece, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I remembered. Uh, I don't know where I got that heavy chest piece, but man, I'm glad we do because that's that thing is great uh protection. So yeah, we need we need ammunition, buddy. We need ammo. Give us ammo. Let's see. What other what ammo can we do here? Okay, let's go to pre-war money. Good. We got tons of pre-war money. That's a beautiful thing. All right. Now we've got good enough ammo. Let's head now to Oberlin Station. Let's bail them out. Actually, I'm surprised you haven't worn a hole through your boots yet. That's true. Actually, let's go to Crazy Myrna and let's buy some junk. Remember, I don't serve scents. Supplies are just for humans. <laughs> let's see what you have. Here's what we got. We're going to need this. So yeah, we're going to need junk. We need duct tape. Don't need shipments of adhesive. We'll take the aluminum. We will definitely take the telephones. We'll take the high power magnet. We'll take a fuse. Yep, vacuum tubes. We like those. I don't think we need those. Microscope, sure. Yeah, the gold watch, fuck that shit. Typewriter, sure. Desk fan. Camera. Uh, pint glass, pencil. Mm, don't think so, but yeah, we'll take the gears. We could use those. Springs. We'll take that. We'll take oil. Take a tablespoon. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's go over to pre-war money. And we'll make some money in that trade. Perfect. That will help. So that may not seem like it makes a whole lot of sense, but once we get to Oberlin Station and we defend against the Raiders, you won't what the we'll be able to build uh, a, ra a radio beacon with uh, some of that salvaged supplies. And then we could start building Oberlin Station up a little bit. I think that's that's a good plan. 
and we may even just do that for the rest of the stream. And then we'll do Automatron next stream, whenever that happens to be, whether it's this week. No, it'll be this week. It'll, it'll probably either be Tuesday or Thursday, assuming I don't just stream both days. Inconvenient that Oberlin Station was going to be attacked by raiders, but what can you do? It's actually a good thing we, I mean, in lore, in game, it's a good thing we got the radio beacon working when we did. <laughs> so that, uh, you know, we could sort of get the distress call out for uh, from Oberlin Station. I mean, obviously, if you don't have the radio, the quest just doesn't spawn. The quest, the game doesn't fuck you over that way, thankfully. But it is sort of interesting in uh, in universe. All right. Oh, we got Minutemen running through here now. Cool. It'd be nice if I could have found a militia uh, uniform, but oh well. That would have been that would have been nice. We got turrets. We got turrets going. But what I may do is I may just craft a cool uh, Minuteman uniform, and we may just go from there. Uh, let's just detect the location here, and then we'll run. Yep, thank you. That's all I wanted. Now we leave. I love how you could just hear all sorts of fighting in the ruins all the time. Like, the whole area of just this region is dangerous as shit. So back out this way we go. Actually, I don't think I've gone into that ice container. There we go. Now we've got nearly 400 rounds. We should handle... We should be able to handle this. Ah, oh, fuckers. Hmm. Looks like the raiders have set up shop in there again. Good to know. Bricks. All right. Is there anything valuable in here? We will take pre-war money for sure. Urban. Oh, right. I went. Oh, God damn it. A hey, uh, McCready. Need some. Main problem was I grabbed. Uh, I bought too many really heavy shit. <laughs> too many things. That were just very, very heavy. All right, we should be good now. Bowling ball, that's heavy. Turpentine, bowling pins, plastic and wood. Let's see, is there anything good in here? No, not really. All right. Did we go this way? Let's take adhesive. Back, go. Out, back out this way we go. As we make our way back over to Oberlin Station. Rain fungus. We'll take rain fungus. We're going to be able to craft a whole bunch of chems with all the materials we've got. Now, we do need chemist, but um, we're just taking these supplies now, even though we can't brew them yet. Because in time, it's going to be really nice when we actually do have chemist and we could start uh, brewing all those chems. We're going to be glad we have all the materials for it. Up we go. Yeah, near the train tracks. We just follow these up to Oberlin Station. The soundtrack is eerie as fuck, man. <laughs> I think we already raided or scavenged meat off that. Yep, we did. Okay, so we cruise over here. Let's see. What weapon do I want to bring? Yeah, I think we'll start with the 10 millimeter. That's the ammo we have the most of. I don't think we'll need to bring anything totally heavy. Now, if it were super mutants, I'd be a little bit of a different story. But uh, I think we're okay with just the 10 millimeter sidearm. I think. We'll find out in a second, won't we? That being the case, let's just make sure we don't lose a ton of progress. I'll 
take the VATS enhanced greater left leg. Hell fucking yeah, we will. That was awesome. That was really fucking awesome. Okay. That actually should have qualified for a tough fight too. That'll help us uh, level up McCready a little bit. Granted, we haven't done a whole lot that he's liked at the moment, but that's fine. Okay. Overland Station. Let's see what the story is with these people. Yep, that's the one we got to talk to. I want to trade a few things. No, that's not what we want. <clears throat> I'm glad you're here. There we go. We've been having some trouble with raiders. What kind of trouble? They showed up in force a few days ago. There were too many of them. We had to give them what they wanted. Oh, it they sucks. Said as long as we kept paying them tribute, they'd leave us alone. At least we know where they're hiding out. Here, mm. I'll mark it on your map. How many raiders were there? Too many for us to handle. But I bet you won't have any problems with them. Nope. No, we won't. We're going to fuck them up. <laughs> we are going to fuck them up. Hey, dog. Nope. Nope. Let me see. Do we have anything? Okay, good. McCready, where are you? Come here, McCready. McCready. Yo, McCready. You fucker. Any day, McCready. Of course, I can't interact with him. There we go. Hey. There we what go. Thank you. Ah. Let's see what you got. Thank you. <laughs> that was annoying. Okay, we want all this stuff because this is going to go in here. You store all junk. Is there anything else we want to store in here? I don't think we need to store anything else. Uh, okay, yeah, let's store the Mirelurk eggs. Oh, yeah, and all the meat. This will all get con uh, connected to the uh, assembly or. Um, this will all get connected in later, so it's okay. Let's look at that. We don't worry, worry, worry about that. Okay, perfect. Okay. At this point, we really should be... Yeah, the reason why... And, of course, Defense Zero. That's kind of why this we had to deal with this here. That's all right. What we want to do... Ugh, we don't have enough ceramic. Fuck. All right, fine. That's all right. We could deal with these raiders. We're going to grow up and deal with these raiders. We are going to deal with this shit. Because fuck these raiders. And I want to be done with this. I want to have this particular little side quest dealt with. By the time we start next stream. So we're going to cruise over here. We'll detect this location. This is the Beantown Brewery. Today. Thank you. Deal. Thank you for the 53 XP instead of 25. We do appreciate that. <laughs> we like XP. I'm going to need to start working on uh, get leveling up the um, leveling up my uh, endurance at some point. It's one of the reasons why I can't run for shit yet. Okay, but this federal stack, uh, the federal uh, stockpile, <laughs> the federal ration stockpile, rather, is over this way, over a little bit to the west. Well, actually, we got a nav point, so that's pretty convenient. There's, of course, a little house, unmarked location over here. That ends up being useful plot-wise on one of the faction playthroughs. Oh boy. If you're gonna do it, just do it, friend. Hey. Yes? Don't come any closer, friend. This, this is awesome. You. Please, help. They're going to kill me. Shut up. What's going on here? This thing's a synth. That's what. We've been traveling with it for weeks. <laughs> and today he finally let slip that he's an institute errand boy. 
the whole fucking time. Because I thought you were my friend. I'd never be friends with a damn synth. You already were friends with the synth. Now please, just, just let me go. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? You're just gonna run off and get your institute buddies to come put us down. That ain't happening, pal. I'm not with the institute. I ran away. I, I just need to get to Bunker Hill. Then I swear I will never bother you again. Please. You believe me, right? You can't let them do this. Hmm. You need to let him go. Think about it. If he meant to hurt you, wouldn't he have done it already? I would, I would, I would never do that. You're, you're my friend. They got a point, Fred. He's had all the chances in the world to harm us. Maybe... Maybe we should just let him go. I... All right. But if I ever see you again, I'm putting one right between your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just... Get the hell out of here. And hopefully I made the right choice there. Hi. I was... Gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Hopefully we made the right choice there. I don't know if I made the right choice, but boy, I hope I did. Hope that was a uh, truly escaped synth and rather uh, than one that's actually working for the Institute. Take a flower. Ooh, there's some more hub flower over here. We'll take that. Oh, cool. And we've got another Minuteman uh, station up there. Actually, I probably have seen that one before. So that is pretty cool how we get more and more of those and the Minutemen patrols are starting to increase too. But that is really sweet. So we got a little vertebrate over here. Let's go take a look at the vertebrate. Making our way over to that, to the stockpile. I don't think there's actually anything over here, but it is cool to take a look at this, at this uh, airplane. Actually, that's not a vertebrate. That's a, that's a plane. Cool. Sweet. There we go. Okay. So I think, yep. We got to kill all the raiders here. And so we're going to do this in a slightly different way than uh, the game might intend us to do. We're going to do this the easy way. So that's the actual stockpile. It's kind of over there. But uh, we're going to go to the church that's behind it. Because there's a secret entrance. And we're going to take advantage of that secret entrance. Yep. Oh, fuck. I, went. I got close to something. Stupid rads. All right. So, yeah, there's... <laughs> and they have fortified the fucking hell out of it. So, yeah, fighting our way through that would suck. So, we're going to do this the easy way. We're going to go up this way. Now, maybe after we clear this out, maybe I'll just go up to the uh, other area behind it. But, hmm. Well, if we go up that way, we can then go up there. There's actually a gunner station up there. Fuck. Let's uh, not trigger that. Ah, the turret spotted us. No big deal. Alright, over here we go. But uh, I do want to eventually get that settlement. We may end up just doing that at the beginning of next stream. We may just clear out the raiders and then we'll set up camp over there. Got ourselves a nice little lonely chapel. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope, there isn't. Let's open the door. Let's see. Nope, nothing of use. Nothing of use here. But all right. And now we go in the secret way. <laughs> and we'll see, considering the hour. I mean, I'm still wide awake, but I don't want to be up too, too late as we go through all this. So plot's about to thicken up here in a second. that turret 
<laughs> Scared, huh? You should be. <laughs> Let's make sure. Yep, frag grenade. <laughs> and we already killed we could just leave right now if we really wanted to just like that I think that's a turret End of that. All right. Now, the spoils. Hell yeah. Oh, we're definitely taking the mini nuke. Fuck yeah. The makeshift battery is just too heavy to carry. Not worth our time. All right, let's take a look here. <laughs> yeah, so let's take off the VATS enhanced. And now that combat armor chest piece. Bats enhanced. Perfect. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So now that chest piece we're wearing anyway actually provides us a good benefit as opposed to that waste item. All right. Red turret. Let's take that. She's actually got... Wait, why has she got a better... Oh, no. She's just got a standard... Uh, she got the standard Magnum auto loader. Actually, mine's better than hers. Okay, cool. I don't know what to worry about it. Take a look here. Combat shotgun. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Ah, yes. More permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. And so, uh, don't worry, sis. I don't know what happened. I was covering the entrance like you told me. We had Tower Tom's little maggots on the run. Then, blam, I remember a face full of plaster, then nothing. When I woke up, I was here in Beantown Brewery with Tower Tom's ugly mug grinning at me. They've been good to me so far, but I only think it's because they want our food. Don't give them a thing, sis. I'll find a way out of here. To my big sister, Red. You've got to send more of those snack cakes. Otherwise, Tom said he's going to chop me to bits. I'm scared. He's a real intimidating guy. Please send more cakes. Think of your sister. Me. Please help. Lily. Red, it's Lily. I don't know how much longer they're going to let me live if you keep sending these lousy supplies. Deviled eggs? Come on. My life is on the line here, Red. I heard them talking about what they're going to do to me next if, if the next shipment doesn't have better stuff. It ain't good. No more eggs, Lily. So, of course, they've got tons of this. We'll take the Nuka Chelly. We'll take Med X. And then we'll take a look at Red uh, Tourette's Terminal. Because that's where things get interesting. <laughs> I love all the little stories about what's going on here. All right. Bang. Nothing there. It's not that. It's not that. Could be this. One of the reasons why I just kind of go through here and fucking brute force it. At some point, it's going to be one of the first ones. A pain in the ass. Okay. Well, at least that one gave us two. Yes. There we go. Beantown bastards. Sis caught a pair of Tower Tom's goons sniffing around the front entrance. Lil and I interrogated them. Hello, cat. I know. Hello. Uh, Lil and I interrogated them, and it sounds like the liquid diet they've got going on at the brewery ain't working so well for them. Apparently, Tower Tom's got some sort of plan to fight his way in here and steal our food. I'd like to see those drunk idiots try. Lil's gone. Tower Tom and his boys made a run at the stockpile today, and in the chaos, Lil went missing. I sent out a crew to see if anyone could find out where she went, but I'm fearing the worst. If Tom somehow got his hands on her, I'll rip out that bastard's heart and nail it to my wall. Red Tourette's certainly uh, a badass. He's got her. Son of a bitch. Tower Tom's got Lil. He's making me write her. He's, uh, he's making her write me letters, begging for supplies. Says he's going to cut her up if I don't. I tried to get a crew together to go rescue her, but they talked me down. Said Tom would just kill her if we make a move, but we've got to do something. 
I'll give that big fuck his food for now, but not before our mutts get a chance to mark it. Oh my god. Something's not right. Got a letter from Lil, but something's off. She calls me Red. I hate that name, and she knows it. I think something's happened. Tom's recruiting hard now that she's got our provisions. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna send one of my boys to sign up and see if he can't figure out what's going on. No sign of Lily. Fuck, 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 fuck. The man I sent to Beantown Brewery said there was no sign of Lil anywhere in the place. Tom must have moved her somewhere. I've sent out a crew to start looking for her. Hang in there, Lil. We're coming. Well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, she's not. <laughs> uh, we took care of that. Uh, okay. So let's turn this off. And yeah, let's... Let's just clear the location. Fuck it. Fuck these raiders. Let's deal with this shit. We don't need the saw. We don't need the weapons workbench. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, of course it's fucking legendary. They didn't even fucking see me. That was awesome. We're splitting all that, right? Yeah, we'll take a Molotov cocktail and taste I need it. We will take the safe cracker right leg. That's pretty cool. That certainly will make my life a little easier first. Let's see. Yeah, we'll take the antique globe. We'll take the battered clipboard. And this is interesting. We got a bunch of first aid kit containers. And then we got a yellow one with yellow paint. So now we know how all the chemist, uh, all the chems uh, containers are turning into chem containers. Chem boxes are just first aid kits that have been painted yellow. Thought it was a neat little uh, detail. So we're going to open this. Open the doors. And now we don't even have to go through the federal ration stockpile through most of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't need all that. There's a turret over there somewhere. Aluminum can. Take a can. I know there's a turret. There it is. Cool. Got the turret. Tin can, tin can, tin can. And if we wanted the food, we could, but a lot of this is still kind of irradiated shit. So I generally prefer not to take the supplies here, but I can certainly understand these assholes needing it, because when you don't have any other better choices. Okay, let's take this. Now then. Didn't we, uh, didn't we kill a legendary raider? Or did I already, did I already loot the legendary raider? Oh, I already looted the legendary raider, didn't I? Yep, I already looted the legendary raider. What did we get off the legendary raider? Shit. I already forgot. <laughs> Nothing there. Ah, the safe cracker right leg. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Actually, depending on what that right leg is. Cavalier. Yeah, I'd rather have the... Honestly, I'd rather have that. That works for now. Save all that. We'll take all those cans. Perfect. And now we clear this. The other way, which is much easier. We'll be in the defendable location. And we will kill all the raiders from inside their own barracks. <laughs> Fucking bastards. It's glorious. <laughs> Much easier clearing the location from this direction. See, so yeah, a red turret was picking on Oberlin Station. Well, wrong fucking, uh, wrong fucking target. Although it makes sense that they might be raiding Oberlin Station. They were probably in the area when they were uh, kind of doing recon for uh, Tower Tom because he's in the Beantown Brewery, which is just north of Oberlin Station. It is funny how it just happens to work out that way. I don't think it was designed that way, but it is nice that it did. Wow, I double tapped and I didn't even need to. Ow, fucker. 
<laughs> Take out that thing. Perfect shot. Where's the rest of these? Oh shit. Headshot! Take out that fucking thing. That's time. Why well, thank you, dog meat. Perfect. Yeah, now the now the raider knows he's fucked. <laughs> Survived the headshot that time. Not that time. And then probably inside here. And then just watching in. <laughs> Execution style. Like a boss. I'm the boss. <laughs> Alright. Yep, we'll take gas canister. Alright. Take the railway spikes. And we get our spoils here. Definitely take ceramic. We need ceramic. Now, where is the... feel like there is a... Maybe not. Yep, there it is. Fusion core time. Please and thank you. In there we'll take the cigarette cool cruise over here since we went through all the trouble let's scavenge and if we were uh had enough hacking ability we could have turned off all the spotlights from up here not a big deal we're splitting all that right <laughs> yeah right mccready all right so just like that we've taken care of all this shit all right, so I don't know if we got enough supplies. Okay, we got all that. Take the 308 round. Okay. Dog meat, we don't need that. Tire iron, T51, nothing really useful there. We'll take the 10 millimeter rounds for sure. Take ceramic. We need that. All right. Back to Oberlin Station we go. Just like that. We're taken care of. Cool. And we go back. We probably have to talk to Preston to uh, truly clear it. But whatever. We've got Oberlin Station clear and that's what's important. Hello, kitty kitty. I love you, cat. Hi. Welcome back. Who's a good girl? Are you? Oh, probably a scavenger. Oh, raider. Raider, huh? Fine. Let's just take out this raider. Probably a dog. Yep, there it is. It's not bad. <laughs> Definitely getting good 308 rounds. Oh, we'll take pre-war money. Sweet. Granted, pre-war money is virtually worthless as far as, like, what it was pre-war. But, you know, each one of those probably, like... Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. I was wondering where you went. I was petting you, and then you wandered. Hello, cat. She's over here on the left side of my chair, just standing up, <laughs> tapping me on my arm. <laughs> Hi, cat. What, is it bedtime, cat? I know, I know. That's that's what this is. This is, hey, hey, you should be, <laughs> you should bite my leg while I'm petting her. All right, all right. Let's just go back to Oberlin Station, cat. We'll t cash in the quest, then we'll go to bed. She is such a, she's so funny. She's such a creature of habit. What she likes to do... She wants to watch TV. That's that's what this is all. This, that's what this is about. She wants to watch TV. I kid you not. 
Uh, let's see. What's the easiest way to get to Oberlin Station? Uh, probably... Yeah, it's definitely down that way. Let's go up this way. I love the sound effects. Hello, headbutt. I know. Love you too, cat. Good grief. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm fighting the Commonwealth and my cat at the moment. <laughs> That's all right. She's getting her pet. She's worth it. Right now she wants to go to bed, but she's she'll put up with she'll put up with a pet. Oh, that's probably oh fuck sakes. Take that. Uh, what am I doing? Wait, where are we? Oh yeah, we're we want to go this way. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we may as well holster so we go a little faster. And hopefully, picking up some of that ceramic now, we can actually build that radio beacon. That would be nice. We did pick up some other supplies. I mean, I could also harvest the workshop at Grey Garden to help things along. But I think we've got enough. And even if we don't, that's fine. We'll come back to Oberlin Station later. But yeah, my plan is to... Um, Wow, I love how wet that looks. <laughs> uh, my plan is to go to Oberlin Station. We'll uh, we'll cash in this quest, and then we will uh, we'll end things for stream. Let's uh, we'll we'll also take a look and see who's on, see who we might raid out to. Uh, but otherwise, we're we're almost at an end for this particular chapter. But I think this was pretty successful. We got Piper maxed out. We managed to explore the ruins a little bit. We picked up more magazines. We killed Swan. Uh, <laughs> Swan is a big deal because Swan is tough. Hits you with those boulders and you saw it. I mean, took out half our health with one hit. Thankfully, we managed to avoid most of his hits. So he only hit us once. Cleared the castle. Killed a Myrler Queen. This was this was pretty good. Uh, yeah, and starting next stream, we'll, we'll just clear. We'll, we'll discover that radio antenna. And then we'll get started. Maybe we'll build a little here. Hey It'd be nice. So can we stop worrying about paying tribute to those raiders? Fuck yeah, you can. They won't be bothering you again. Thanks. <laughs> it's good to know we can count on you guys when we're in trouble. Yep. Takes care of that. Yeah, we need to talk to Preston to actually clear okay. it. That part sucks, but oh well. Uh, Darby. Hey. Let's see what else you got, buddy. Nope, you're not carrying anything? Okay, cool. Let's store all that. Let's go in here. Is there anything else we need to store in there? I don't think so. Mirelurk meat, a flower. Keep all that stuff for now. I definitely want to break down these things later. But nothing's crazy here. Okay. In a perfect world, we'd still be able to build... Yes! Now we could build the radio beacon. And we will build it over in this corner. And we'll put a, a, gen a generator over there. Perfect. Power. Generator small. Oh, we don't have any rubber fuckers. All right, so we still can't do that. But that's okay. Once we get some rubber, we'll be able to do this. But we're gonna do that approximately later. I've got a cat that, uh, no word yet, doubt we'll ever learn what happened to him. I love the interactions between them. Okay, but let's save. We'll call this a day. This was successful. I don't think we would have... Yeah, we didn't have any rubber we passed on, so I don't think... Yeah, let's save it one more time. Just to... yeah, let's, let's just overwrite that save. <laughs> Definitely don't want to lose progress here. And uh, so, yeah, that, that is a successful day of playing some Fallout 4. Let's see who's on. Is there anybody on late at this hour? Uh, we got Aussie on. Let's, let's raid Aussie. Fuck it. Let's have some fun there. Let's raid, raid Aussie. She's up late. I don't think she's usually up this late. Normally she's on earlier. Oh, and they're playing Sea of Thieves. So for some of you, this will work out. We'll be doing Sea of Thieves again. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody who came out tonight. 
to uh, spend their their Sunday night with me. That's always a nice way to end end the weekend here. And so, um, as we get ready to raid her, I hope everybody has a great rest of your uh, a great week ahead of you. And uh, I'll let everybody know at some point whether or not I'm streaming Tuesday or Thursday and or both. But in the meantime, have a good one. Thank you once again. And I will talk to you all approximately later. Have a good one. And until next time, ciao.